<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It is Wednesday night. It is Xbox Nation night. It is pre-Thanksgiving for all us Americans. So uh, happy America. Thanksgiving. Yeah, America. America. That's where we live. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's except for Noof. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Noof, you guys, uh, you guys have that's other. That's my bro. He's accepted yeah, yeah, as an yeah, American. Thanksgiving back in October right now. It's thanks for nothing, really. It's, yeah. Yeah. So is tomorrow just Thursday for you, Noof? Just just a Thursday, brother. That sucks. I'm oh. waiting for that box holiday. Like, we, we're on, there's amazing yeah. food. We've got three pretty decent football games on to, to carry us through the day. Like, it's uh, they get the Macy's Day Parade, which that's not a huge thing, but it's it's American. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's just something that, like it, you look forward to. When you guys were tweeting out, hey, it's Canadian Thanksgiving. Right? Is that what you guys call it? Yeah, it's back in, like I said, October. Is it literally called Canadian Thanksgiving? No, it's just called Thanksgiving, just like your guys. Okay, all right. I think that maybe somebody, <laughs> I thought somebody was like, it's Canadian no. Thanksgiving. Like, we're taking your idea. We just wanted it. We we're hungry a month early. Yeah, same deal. We generally have the turkey, the ham, maybe a goose, whatever whatever people prefer, basically. You and what's, what are you guys celebrating and, the pilgrims, or what do you guys celebrate? Yeah, what's, what's your guys' Thanksgiving all about? Yeah, like, what's it about? Uh, I don't know, just to be thankful to, uh, you know, the good Lord above for all <laughs> that we are giving. Well, they, thankful. <laughs> we, also, we, we call that grace. Um, yeah. yeah, that's fine. We can... <laughs> He's like, that's an excellent right. explanation of Canadian was, Thanksgiving. Just a, this yeah. just in, Noof Nukem does not know what Canadian Thanksgiving really is. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was expecting a turkey, different man. thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Noof's like, I'm here Noof. for the food. Do we, need to get, do we need to get Noof like the Canadian Charlie Brown? Explanation. Yeah, he needs. Like, that's what he needs. Like, man. Like, like, Thanksgiving is all about. Well, it was funny though. You say Charlie Brown. You, we asked him. We're like, Noof, what is the Canadian Thanksgiving? He was like, wah 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 I know. You know what? And I still got to do the uh, the intros and stuff. I want to introduce the man who hates celebrating birthdays for inanimate objects. <laughs> Thank Maybe you. Maybe not birdies for people. At least he said it correctly. Inanimate, inanimate object, and he hates custom consoles with a passion, a fiery Ooh. passion. <laughs> and he thinks that he thinks that nobody in the face of the earth on consoles plays Overwatch, oh. despite the fact that it's number nine on MPD still. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. The winner of the rundown for some of bullshit reason. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And let me tell you something. The reason Kraft's having a hard time with all this is he's realized that majority of people agree with me. And I'm sorry, crap. It's true. Okay. We don't need to celebrate staplers and beer cozies. Okay. We don't need to celebrate ridiculous situations. I mean, there's just insanity going on, right? We celebrated Rise's birthday today. Why? <laughs> Rise? <laughs> What's next, Slime Rancher? Get out of here. I don't even want to hear. <laughs> so, you know, we got that going on. And I'm looking out for you. Uh, I, I would say the Americans, but we do have new fear. My, my American, my Canadians, my, my UK friends. I'm looking out for all of you guys, the Brazilians, Australians. I can't relate to And let's throw Italy in there, too. And, you know, listen, I'm looking out for all you guys with these custom consoles. Why are you going to go out there and spend this extra money, throw it in your entertainment center? And then when do you ever pull it out? When do you ever say, hey, hey, guys, check this thing out. I got my console over here. Check it out. And you take it out of your entertainment center and show them that nobody, nobody does it. You don't see it. And now Fachi gave me a good reason why she buys them, which I'm sure she'll interject shortly. She has a good reason. But once the entertainment center comes in, it's a, it's a done deal. So, guys, oh listen, my I'm just watching out for you guys. Save your money. <laughs> Put it in the games, right? Games, games, games. Give me games. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's my whole pitch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good night. I can't believe I lost one though. I mean, usually I. I mean, I'm. I, you lost I two. Didn't you Where's lose the belt? Yeah, I, I did lose Where's two. Where's the yeah. belt? His belt's not on yet. I don't know. He's on yet. To, I'll yeah, put it, it on on Sunday. <laughs> oh, okay. I was so surprised. You know what really cost me was the Who would you rather hang out with, Mooch or Crap? Of course they're gonna rather hang out with Mooch. Like, what the hell was I thinking? Funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, who who doesn't want to get told? I told wrong you, I'm looking to clone and... myself. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hang out with Mooch? Could you imagine? Like I could be great. Who Mooches? Holy <laughs> shit! You want to hey, Mooch? What do you about this? I don't know. It's that steak, or would you rather get the burger? <laughs> the steak, of course. I don't know. Right. Mooch, you want to play Call of one. Duty? No, I don't play Call of Duty. I think Star Wars better. Hey, it's a good idea. I like the way you're thinking. Let's do it. <laughs> you never right. get a word edgewise. You That's Mooch true. Mooch. Yeah. That's true. The family yeah, move out. Yeah. It is. I always think it's funny when J Dub's like kicks in the Mooch uh, sayings on M and C, and it's like Mooch agreeing with Mooch and shit. It's the funniest <laughs> thing ever. So. <laughs> it's the, um, the latest and greatest. We also we got uh, the, the man, the myth, the mouth breather, Hellhammer. What's up? 
<laughs> yeah. much. Uh, just been playing a lot of uh, Assassin's Creed lately. That's pretty much all I've yeah, been doing. Yeah, that game is that game is gorgeous. I was like, hey, how come my uh, mine isn't in HDR? And you're like, well, you got to do this and do a bunch yeah, of yeah. There's like then... you got to like go and turn off a bunch of shit. It's weird. Like I don't yeah, know. It, it, it was a little bit weird, but I did event. Once you get HDR turned on, I got to say, if you're not a believer in HDR then play Assassin's Creed Origins without it at first, and then go back and have it turned on, and you'll see, like, a huge difference. It's, yeah, it's that, that's the stunning. game where you see the major difference on it. Absolutely amazing. I, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, And we've got the man from Canada not celebrating anything tomorrow. It's just a Thursday for him. Noof Nukem! <laughs> Come on! Noof Nukem's in the room. Yeah, no, ain't celebrating diddly squat tomorrow, but hey, I can eat some turkey with y'all. That's all good, man. Good to be here. Xbox Nation Wednesday night, and man, are Mooch and Crap showing some man boobs in the chat or what? Because they're dropping dollars over there like crazy. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! Like, wow, <laughs> oh, Stop six. Wow, with a Shake 20. Man. Woo, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm really yeah. learning the art of mooching here. That's that's what I'm talking about. I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 it's yeah, contagious. It's always, it is. It's always and it's very much appreciated. <laughs> so thank you guys very much. And I got a couple of special guests here. Uh first off, I'll introduce uh she's uh you know her as Luca from the second floor. What's up, Luca? How you doing? Yeah. Listen, cool. listen, listen. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> the new, the new I was warned beforehand about uh about chicken wings, so yeah, don't go I, quiet. I was about to get my wings, but I got him. I'm here. It's me, Luca, on the second floor. What's up, guys? This is actually uh, <laughs> this is really awesome for me. You know, the reason I'm even in this community is because I was browsing YouTube one day, came across Xbox Nation. I was like, oh, oh, okay, these guys are really informative. Uh, you know what? I gotta be honest though. I I heard Fox was on, right? Mm -hmm. And it was an episode where she was a guest. And I was like, oh, that girl sounds really interesting. So I came back next week for her, and she wasn't here. But oh my! But <laughs> I heard Mooch start ranting, and I was like, I'm staying for him. So thank That's you so much. For <laughs> 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 uh, I'm excited for tonight. Uh, didn't really do, uh, we didn't do REX yesterday, dealer's busy, but I did something with Rand and Colt, so, you know, go check that out, and uh, let's get into these topics. Oh, yeah, and so so we do have a Mooch Maniac here, but not to be outdone, we got a crapaholic with Lady Foxfire. What's up, Foxy? Woo! Hola, que pasa, bitches? <laughs> exactly. exactly. Um, Luca, you're really sweet. I remember you telling me that a long time ago, and it was amazing, and I'm glad that I could do the show with you, and also... Um, Crappy and Noofy yep. and Moochie. Uh, oh, yeah, and Hell Hammer's here, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, man, I gotta... <laughs> he was already botting a little bit, but hey, he's doing, he's doing okay. He's, he's doing okay. We love, we love Hell Hammer. Uh, but I, I, I call him bot. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, he are. it's not even really botting. It's some kind of weird, like, scratchy uh, nonsense or whatever. But I do want to jump into some of this stuff. Obviously, the big topic that everybody wants to talk about is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit last week. It's gone even further now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys didn't know, they pulled the uh, the microtransactions off the game. That was actually because of Disney. They actually got in touch with them and said, hey, we don't want all this negative publicity. So they pulled them for now because, as you guys know, the new Star Wars movie is coming out uh, next month. And so they don't want that negative kind of publicity. Plus, you have different uh, countries looking into this as possibly being a gambling thing. Right. Uh, which it's not really technically, but, um, you know, a lot of people are, are kind of looking at it as kids gambling and things like that because you don't know what you're going to get. Uh, realistically, gambling would be if you actually get something that has real world monetary value, which none well, of that stuff does. It's not even that, but the definition of gamble would be the fact that you could, if you spent money, you did, couldn't get anything at all. The fact is, you're always getting something for the money you spend, even, but it just, yeah, I, about nine times out of ten, is something you don't want. Good point. Yeah. But, but, you know, this is this is another case of us all being a little, a little too much time on our hands, uh, a little too bored, and a little too ridiculous. Uh, this is too much, like uh, gambling. Look, you don't have to buy it. You, you might not like that you have to play it for 17 years to get the Darth Vader. But <laughs> you don't have to buy it. There's nothing where it says, this game of Star Wars Battlefront 2 comes with an executive that holds a gun to your head. No, it doesn't say that on the back of the box. I, I don't understand why. Like, I, I get why we're upset. I understand where we're trying to reduce it and get it so that it's not a pay to win. I get that. 
But now, now we're just like, these are just people who have nothing to do, and they're like, you know what we should do? Let's take this shit to the Supreme Court, okay? Because now we're gonna have loot boxes next to Roe v. Wade. Get out of yeah. here! What are we talking about? <laughs> it is, you know, insanity. It, it is ridiculous. weird. Like I don't like Stop. the pay to win aspects, right? Like I, I get why people are pissed about that, right? But I honestly do not understand why people are upset about like the different colored skins and whatever. You know what I mean? Like who cares? Cares? I honestly man. don't care. Like Gears of War does it. Uh, you can spend it if you want to. That's the only one where I bought anything and I didn't even really need to. That was my own fuck up. Uh, you You're know, what run, I mean? run stoppable in the chat goes. It's about the gambling mechanics and they are addicting. So are McDonald's fries. Okay. <laughs> they are. It's, all, it's <laughs> called self control. You, you, you don't have to carry. spend exactly. anything. Come on, take yeah, it easy. Yeah, you Relax. don't. You don't have to spend anything in in there whatsoever. Uh, just people need to kind of chill out. Uh, take take a chill pill. You know what I mean? Like everybody complains about this stuff, yeah. but they don't understand that. Uh, you know, and, and it's not like like I said, the pay to win aspect. I hate that shit. It's bad, bad for gaming. It right? is bad. Yeah, loot crates where you could just get optional shit. I have no issue with that whatsoever because I understand right. the fact yeah. that you know these things. These games cost a lot of money to make. Sometimes as much as certain movies, not every movie. But if you look at the facts, and that is a game can cost upwards of $50, $60 million to make and market. And then look at the amount of money that it takes to actually recoup that money. It's a lot of sales. And so they're using this to kind of supplement that. Right. And, that's, well, you know, that's and, and the other thing is, and I do want to have the panel discuss this crap, but the one thing I've just been seeing a lot of comments going through on Twitter today is people are like, it's okay. It's about time we just maybe put the prices up. Let me tell you, you know, all you ever hear is be careful what you wish for. Do you think yeah. because you're allowing them to go to $70 that microtransactions are gone? You're out of mm -hmm. your mind. Yeah. This is double dipping. Do not, anyone that writes, it's okay to go to $70. No, keep it at $60. And if the guy wants to go buy a $10 cape, let him do it. Who gives a shit? Like, I mean, I've been playing Destiny with a bunch of people. And there was some people that like the first week, I know them, they're Destiny nuts. They're like, dude, they told me, they're like, Mooch, don't judge me. They're like, I'm like, I don't, I don't give a shit what you do. They're like, well, they were saying that in their sentence. They're like, you know, they're like, I went and bought this silver and I went and bought the thing where I can flip the table and everything looks like a neon sign. I'm like, how did you get that cool thing? He's like, I bought it. And I was like, well, how do I get it? He's like, you can buy it. I was like, fuck you. I'm not buying that. You know, so I kept playing the damn thing for another 150 hours. So I got the fucking neon sign. Yeah, it is what it is. Like, I don't understand. It's yeah. like, don't wish this thing to go to $70, folks, because you're going to get hit with $70 and then you're going to hit again. You're definitely going to hit again for a microtransaction of some sort and DLC yep. and all that stuff. And not only that, why should I pay more for a game when I don't even you buy microtransactions? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the part that, I, that doesn't understand it. Optional. I'm saying the pay to win one's bad. Just keep away from those 100 percent. Right. But Look. optional skins and stuff. I have no problem with that. I avoid those anyway or earn them myself. You know, yeah. So I mean, just like, if, what's your guys' thoughts? Anybody? If this game didn't have Star Wars on the box and it wasn't by EA, I don't think it would be getting the same critical slamming that it's getting right now. And I get where people are coming from from both sides of the fence. I think that all the games, like especially the big games, uh, they're relying too much on these little things to make a ton of money. When it means Star Wars itself sells itself, it it really needs any extras to basically make money. It's Star Wars. It's going to do you know four or five million copies easy. Uh, before all the rest of it, you know, I, I do believe they need to fix the progression system a little bit and some tweaking needs to be done. But, uh, you know, it, again, it's just people making mountains out of molehills. It's making something out of nothing. Just it's just too much. And it's going on where every whatever, you know, comes out these days. It's a lot of different games and they do them in different ways. And I agree with you 100 percent. If the game was one hundred dollars, look, we'd still be paying for stuff later on. So it makes no difference. Uh, I, I think for games that are. Uh, you know, of a lesser ilk that don't have the big budgets, don't have the big marketing campaigns that don't have a lot of ways to make money. Sure. They sell cheaper and they try to make it up in other ways. And, and that I can tolerate a bit, a little bit more because you have to, you know, support those devs who work hard and don't have say a big name to go behind a new IP or something here's, like that. But otherwise thing, again, man. yeah. No, if here's the thing, you know, money becomes uh, relative. And let me explain what I mean by that. So you you up these games to $70, okay? At first, that's a surplus for all of these people. So they start making this extra money, and it feels like extra money. But just like anybody else, if I said to everybody that's listening, you're going to get an extra $100 in your paycheck every single week. For the first month or two, you're like, holy shit, that's a car payment, or that's, you know, a couple of bills I could pay this and that. After a year, that $100 I gave you extra a week that continues to come in, that doesn't feel like extra. You start living to the means that you now bring in. Yeah. So, with, so the point of the matter is, is that they go, no, Mooch, you're full of shit. 
bring it to seventy dollars, and we'll just that, that'll just get rid of DLC and season passes and microtransactions. <laughs> no, no, it won't. What'll happen is they'll be quiet for about a year, year and a half. And then you'll see them start to sneak it back in there and be like, well, if you really want it, we're going to have a season pass. You don't have to, but, and they'll start this whole nonsense all over again. And now yeah. we're duped. And for another decade or so, you'll be stuck at 70. So that's why whenever I see anybody write that, I'm like, please oh. retract that. The thing is, if you want to really see how that works out, right? Look at the games that are like on the PC side, a lot of the MMOs that are, are monthly subscriptions, they still have loot crates and boxes and all this other shit you could buy. Right. And they're, and they're getting paid monthly, plus an upfront price for the game, usually. Yeah, the biggest, P like, this whole stuff, like, started kind of with the PC games, didn't it? Like, uh, Counter-Strike and League of Legends oh, yeah. and all that stuff, right? Counter-Strike, yeah, Counter-Strike yeah. Go was the big one. Like, people spent <laughs> fortune on that shit. Yeah, like, even, um, you know, like, uh, people would always be like, well, League of Legends is free. Oh, well, how much did you spend on it? Well, I spent about three hundred dollars on different outfits and stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, like that to me, that's kind of. And then yeah, <laughs> yes, I don't know what. Maybe it was a redneck that said it to me. I'm not wow. Sure. But, uh, <laughs> uh so so it, like that's how and it's virtually kind of been been doing this like this virtual currency stuff and and it did. Uh, what is it? Belgium said that they found loot crates to be quote unquote gambling. To kind of yeah. outlaw those in in, yeah. Europe. in their I mean, definition. Yeah, in their for definition, me, gambling, but, yes. you, you pay something, you have a chance of not getting anything back from it, but you're getting something out of it, either if it's something you already have or don't want. Yep, exactly. Not only that, but it, it's a it's a very fine line because you people act like that'll stop it. You know what they'll do? They'll just go, okay, well, you pay, and this this is the box you're getting with this. Oh, you yeah. what's in it? You know what I mean? Like, and and, that, and that's just what's going to happen. They're never going to fully get rid of these things. You know what well, I mean? I mean like, the don't... easy loophole around that would just be they they show one thing that you get and be like, plus you get five bonus random items or whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know, and so I like it's a it's a slippery slope. I understand that gamers don't like that. You know, uh, they're like loot crates are evil or whatever. But it's like a lot of things people cry about on the internet that yeah. you know if you really cared about developers this much. Then why did you shit on the Microsoft Xbox One idea to begin with, which was designed to give developers a piece of the used game market, right? Yep. Like they hated that. You know that was awful. But now with this, Good it's point, actually crap. it's also helping uh, game developers. And, and for those that think that we're that the industry is all perfectly good and healthy, for some it is. But look at how many developers we're losing. Right. You know, we lose so many. We don't have nearly the, the developers we had with the 360 era, <laughs> and it's because games have become so expensive to make. So even though a game might sell four million, five million, uh, that's not necessarily going to equal success. Look at Team Bondi, the team that made L.A. Noir. That game sold five million. That studio still closed down because that game was so expensive to make. They used all that facial recognition tech, cost a lot of money. So guess what? They closed down. Same thing with that murdered soul suspect, right? They released their game a week later. <laughs> We're out of business. It is, funny. it is funny when you think Ouch. about the launch of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 crap, right? It was down yeah. with DRM, didn't want to have all this digital, like the, the digital content and the digital sharing, the family sharing, all the stuff that Microsoft was going to uh, institute in 2013. It was boo, hiss, yeah. people booing, hissing the stage. <laughs> people were throwing tomatoes at Phil when he left. Like it was ridiculous, the nonsense that was going on. And now... The PS4 Pro comes out and they're like, nah, we didn't put a 4K Blu-ray drive. No, no, no. Stream our shit. So now everyone's like, you know what? Maybe we'll start streaming our shit. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think so too. Let's report it to IGN. Good idea. So like everything's going now streaming. And like you say, now everyone's freaking out about loot crates. If we did follow the motto that actually was what Microsoft said, people in the media was guilty. Media is guilty, number one, because the media planted the seed in the people's heads. OK, I've seen that DRM in this digital world. We're not ready for that. Who's always online? Who can you now? Isn't this comical? Isn't it great to just take you want to talk about birthdays? Let's talk about birthdays. <laughs> OK, <laughs> this is the hey. birthday of when people were saying, I don't want to be online. What happens if I don't want to be connected to the Internet? What happens if I'm in a goddamn submarine, right? What happens if I'm yeah. in a submarine? Well, if you're in a submarine, you're probably at war. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be playing Xbox. That's probably your number one thing right there. I buddy. mean, I don't know. I, all I'm saying is that I just don't understand. I don't understand. That's what they were saying three plus just three and change years ago. And yeah, now yeah. that is not if someone ever said that to you now, 
as Luca would say, you'd be blocked. Like you don't even <laughs> talk to them anymore. And yeah, which is, which is surprising because everybody's always watching stuff on Netflix or Hulu or anything like that. And Blockbuster died basically. But yeah, as is. soon as you like say, "Oh, what about for doing the same thing for games?" You got everybody like freaking out. Most of the people are the people that buy physical and they want to like support GameStop or you know Walmart or anything like that and buy the actual game. I'm a big even fan if of- it's used. I'm a big fan of uh, if you guys and you know what? Let me address that, uh, Foxy, because I went and talked to the manager at GameStop and I said, you know, I said, I, I don't want to see this store close. And these, you know, because I don't buy physical copies anymore. And crap thought I was crazy when I did this. I don't do it all the time. But if I happen to be in there, like I'll buy Switch games for the kids and stuff like that. I'll buy all those. I'm not going to buy those digitally. I'm going to buy those the little cartridges when I'm in there. And then I know that I'm buying another game digitally on PlayStation or Xbox. I grab a $60 card while I'm in there. And mm-hmm. I buy the card there with the digital, you know, it's still, and I take it home, put it, put the code into the Xbox, and then I buy the game digitally. And I asked them, I said, if I do this here, does that help you? They're like, oh, immensely. Absolutely. They're like, yeah, it does help us if you buy the card here. It's better than you just buying it from Microsoft. So I help them every once in a while, too. I want, I'm a huge proponent of brick and mortar sticking around. I personally will not buy any more physical discs. I just, I don't, that's just, it's beyond my comprehension at this point. Like, it's the same thing with CDs. Like, if you're walking around with a, an iPod or your iPhone or any kind of anything like that. There's no way you can be like, I really miss my disc man. Get the fuck out. <laughs> um, you know, so I mean like got a new C D today. Oh shit. Yeah. What is it? What'd you get? Uh well, you know what? Here's the thing, right? Like uh <laughs> Okay, look, I bought this. Stuck I, in the Stone Ages. That's the problem. I bought this, I bought this Liam Gallagher CD, right? I, I really like this. I have it already, like, right. Despite downloaded. the fact that I literally showed it the other day, I was like, look at my phone. I was like, look, here I am. I opened up Spotify. I went to the thing. I was like, I clicked download. Now I can play this wherever I'm at, <laughs> even without it. Even without okay. it. Well, listen, he did the same thing because, right, like, listen, my whole life, I've always had like nice stereo <laughs> systems, right? right? Like with a high wattage, it's nice speakers. Yep. They sound good. I like, you can't find those fucking things anymore, right? I agree, and yeah. I asked Hellhammer, I'm like, what's the deal? He goes, well, everything's now just like iPod docks and stuff, like 40 watts and shit. I'm like, I want to crank some fucking music. Where's the stereos? He goes, I don't know. I mean, like, so I found one, a really good one was like fucking 800 watts or something, really nice stereo. I ordered, he's like, yeah. I said, I got a good deal. And he goes, of course you got a good deal on it because it's it's like so fucking... Um, what yeah, did you it's, say? Like, it's like it's like saying, "Hey, I just got this VCR for two dollars." Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you know what? Like hey, uh, that came that- with thirty tapes too. Woo! I still buy. I still buy CDs. Yes, and I still, you know, I listen. <laughs> I rock out with my stereo. Yes, crap. I'm with you, buddy. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like the CDs just sound better. Damn. Um, you know, just put did a they, black file they- on your on your on your cell phone. You're good to go. The day that I, I Windows no, well, you know what? Here's a problem with that. I went out to, uh, here's a problem with some of this digital stuff. Like, um, I was just using my iPhone 4 because I had some stuff downloaded to it. And, uh, even, w- and basically, um, it wouldn't like, I was trying to watch some of my movies and stuff that I have, like the digital copies, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't play, uh, without some type of internet access. Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Y- yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what were you going to say, Fox? Oh, that, I was just going to say that the day that I stopped buying physical games will be a sad day for me because I already went through that with my DVDs and my CDs already. Um, yeah. I still buy Blu-rays sometimes here, you know, every now and then whenever I really, really enjoyed a movie or something. But it's really rare, like maybe twice or three times a year. Um, so the day that I stopped buying physical games, uh, that was going to be a sad day for me because I do notice that I am buying more digital here and there than I used to. So, um, yeah, that really sucks. <laughs> I mean, I still buy 4K, my 4K Blu-rays I buy. Because to me, yes, I, I have watched streaming 4K movie. I've watched it. And it's good. But it's not as good as the physical disc. But the thing about the, the movie I don't mind purchasing is that's a static thing. It's just, it is what it is. When the end of the movie, it's the end of the movie. There's no DLC coming. There's no this. There's no that. And oh, yeah. very rarely, okay, pick any movie. This is me, though. You guys have to understand a little something about me. I'm not a movie nut. Like, I like watching movies when they come out. But I usually watch them, and then I'm like, okay, like, even if I bought it, I'll, I'll watch it again in a year. Like, I, I don't watch things over and over because there's too much new stuff coming out to be hung up on anything. I mean, like, that's just, that's a me thing. I'm not telling you guys that's, that's you. So like with those, I don't mind buying a 4K movie right now because you're getting the best quality and then I'll use it every so often. The thing about games that that makes digital so enticing 
is like just at the flip of a hat. Like I did it the other night. I was like, okay, I beat uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2's campaign. And then I'm like, okay, what do I want to do? Uh, I clicked over right away. Like I just went right to home, went right to my my home pins and picked out uh, Wol- you know, Wolfenstein 2. And I was like, all right, so I put that in, bang. And I played it like instantly. I didn't get up, go over, push the button, look at my catalog of like plastic cartridges sitting over oh there. Like, my no, God. Like, it's really, like you're sitting there like I can just see Fox doing it and making a cup of tea before she picks her next game. Hold on. Let me stir <laughs> my whole <laughs> tea. Hold, hold. Wow. Oh, I'm going kidding, Fox. All right. You're all the right. only one I got. You're the only one I got on physical. No. Um, new it's crap physical even. too. Yes, that is true. But like, did you hear what Noof just said? Noof just said he picked up his iPhone 4. He said that, and I was thinking about like what cavemen did, the wheel, the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> like, I iPhone, up 4. My iPhone 4 for 15 years ago. If I said that, yeah, if I said that, I would have been like, I picked up my iPhone 4 when I was 12. And, and you know, and I was, oh, wait, no, wait. Uh, so, Noof, that was a good example. Well, come on. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, but it is what it is. So, I just think that I think digital is, is, uber convenient right now you can take these things with you i go over to my brother's house log on right with my account and then i can play my games on his system and that's so easy to do it's ridiculous you're not bringing all this other stuff with you you're already bringing everything over to your family's house tomorrow right someone's bringing the bird someone's bringing the cranberry sauce somebody's bringing the casserole someone's bringing all the shit i don't feel like bringing games you know what i mean like i want them to just come with me and that 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 technology exists and if you don't want to use that that's okay. I'm not saying that you need to use it, but you do have to realize that the fact of using physical games right now is the same as using a rotary phone. They both work, but one, you're like, why? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Still makes the call. Still oh, makes the call. <laughs> still makes the call. You know? Listen, I did, um, I still buy physical some stuff. Like, I try to buy my PSVR games physical when I can. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, no, Luca. Oh, no, he just mentioned PSVR. He's got to go. IPhone hey. Four is basically like an iPod Touch. I don't don't use it anymore. I've got an Android phone that I use, but that's just yeah, for right. I like, know. I'm accessing my collection to the music and stuff <laughs> that I bought from iTunes. Hey, Moosh was the one that messaged me today. He's like, are, are the uh, PSVRs on sale with the, with the HDR pass-through? And I was like, are you looking to pick up another PSVR? No, I, I can tell you exactly what I'm going to do. If I could pick up a PSVR right now with the HDR pass-through, I was going to buy it, put my piece of shit one in there, and return it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the fun- <laughs> F you, Sony. <laughs> <laughs> how, dare, how dare they do this to us we I, I just got this thing as a gift right it is a pain in the ass of course it's a pain in the ass yeah. it's that's so sony right i mean thanks sony <laughs> <laughs> now i only have to go back there i look like a goddamn electrician right i'm back there i'm like what are you doing back there dad nothing <laughs> HDR up and running, kids. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, I gotta well, be honest, it is a pain in the ass. ass. I know. Like, turn it to the, reminds me of fucking Clark Griswold putting the Christmas lights up in National Lampoon's <laughs> Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Russ, he's like, what? He's like, oh shit, I know you're so close. <laughs> here, here, you work on that. Yeah. <laughs> you work, it's a knot. It's a ball yeah, of lights. <laughs> you work on that. Yeah. That's me with the um, HDR and the PSVR. Yeah. Well, what I do is, like I said, I just, I just have a couple of different lines, so it's a little bit easier, but still, yeah, I would much prefer. Um, the only thing I know uh, is, is, is Crap Gamer went through like buying like four different switches to try to get that shit to work right. Yeah, that, that's true. He plays too. the games and makes this sound. After I get done rigging up the wires, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, like, all right, so, so I, I go on Amazon and I buy these 4K HDR uh, switches, right? So the HDMI switches so that I can just have everything hooked up. And I order these fuckers. And every time they come with no power supply for some reason. <laughs> and I'm like, so, so the first time I understood, cause it was just one of those, like, that wasn't like a super expensive one. The second one was one that Amazon recommended for me. It was like 50 bucks. And I was like, yeah. And then I get it and I open up like, there's no fucking power supply in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, are you serious? And so I contact them and they're like, yeah, well, we'll send you a new one. I still don't have a new one. So I ordered a fucking universal power supply so that I can just hook that shit up to it. You know what I mean? How ridiculous is that? Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous, man. I can't fucking believe that. Unbelievable. You can know, yeah. I'm, that. I'm, I know. It pisses me off because, you know what? Like, if most TVs have three HDMI ends, right? Well, if you have a PS4 Pro, uh, Xbox One, uh, a Switch, you know, maybe you want some of your other shit hooked up too. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Like, it'd be yeah. nice to be able to hook up... Uh, 
more than that. I'm just saying it, it would be it would be sweet. That's all I'm saying. God damn it. Uh, X- <laughs> <laughs> oh, so speaking of EA, they fired the plans for Zombies creator because he didn't want to use pay to win tactics in the game. This is like further kind of putting them in a little bit of a bind in terms of what people think about them. What's your guys' thoughts on this? EA back to being the worst company in the world? Discuss. Well, I, I think that that story got like watered down a little bit because it was rumored that that's what happened, but that was from someone else who heard it. And then I think that they kind of cleared it up like that wasn't exactly what happened. Um, the guy but, tweeted out today that he did get fired over something along those lines, though. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't did. exactly like what the other guy had mentioned, though. The other yeah. guy that um, was in the podcast, and he mentioned that he did uh, the Super Meat Boy or something. And he was saying the story like secondhand or whatever. So, oh, okay. uh, yeah. But they, they did clear it up, and um, I think it was something similar to that effect, but it sucks to be put in that position it, to even have that talk with a company when you're just trying to create your game and do whatever you want to do. So yeah. even if uh, EA just like mentioned it or something like that, I would be upset at it because I wouldn't want them to try to add crap to the game that I'm trying to release for everybody. And I think this was towards the mobile game, Plant vs. Zombies 2. Uh, which was what 2012 or something like that yeah, that this happened. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So this so, I mean, regardless, you know, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a shame because like EA has a lot of had a lot has a lot of eyes on them right now, right? Because they're the ones yeah. that have the contract with Disney. Uh, it's like they're people, like, hey, dice. People are dice. <laughs> going to the archives and shit right now. Yeah, they're like, dice was the ones that did this. They're, Look at dice, they're, dice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. and then you know they're they're the same ones that shut down Visceral. You know, uh, and then there was the rumors. We don't really know, like, 100% how those rumors panned out. But uh, there was the rumors that, you know, like, they wanted more of, like, a pay-to-win or loot crate type situation. Uh, and it was a stressful work environment, an expensive place. I guess they were a, a studio in San Francisco or something. Mooch, San Francisco is expensive, don't you know? Oh, just a little <laughs> and, bit, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean, what are your thoughts on this? Like, to me, like. EA's regressed a little bit. They did. We're doing much better. They did regress, yes. Yeah, and now they're just kind of really. It's a tough situation, you know. You you hear one story in your, you know. I I agree. I agree with the consensus here. With everybody says, you know, it wasn't right that EA let the guy go and whatever the cases were and all that. But I mean, you know, realistically, there's a lot of people at work that get told to do something by their boss. And, you know, I got news for you. I mean, I, I think everybody would agree with this. Just being general and being very general, not this gentleman's in, uh, instance. But your boss tells you to do something. Uh, you don't do it. Uh, you don't work there anymore. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I know it sounds, yeah. it sounds kind of crazy. Right. But that, that's how it works. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand that, you know, a lot of these developers uh, that have these games and then they get EA buys them out like, you know, respawn. And, and I don't know all the paperwork. I wasn't sitting at any of these boardroom meetings. All these people got a nice little check when an EA or a Microsoft buys the game, right? You know, I mean, they, that that's that's big time cash. Uh, four hundred million dollars, four hundred forty million dollars went to Respawn. Now, did all four hundred forty million dollars go to Vince Zampella? No, absolutely not. But Vince Zampella right now is not opening up a can of tuna fish sitting next to a roaring fire by a barrel. Okay, I mean, he's doing fine. Yeah. And these guys get paid a lot of money when these guys become part of the EA family or you become part of the you know Microsoft Studios family. And, you know, like you see the people at Rare when they're making this game that now that Microsoft owns, Rare, you know, they've owned Rare. Uh, none of them are like crying. I've never seen yeah. people smile like this before. And, <laughs> you know, I, I, they're, they're static. I mean, they're doing that Toyota commercial. You ever see them? They're jumping in the air and they're taking a picture while they're frozen midair. I'm like, who yeah. does that? You know, it's like 70s movies and Toyota commercials. And. You know, these guys are then they're like, you know, oh, my boss asked me to do this. And I was like, I don't want to do that. That's not what my game's all about. Well, if that wasn't what your game was all about, then you shouldn't have sold your game to them for X amount of dollars. And you're sitting on Mount Beverly Hills. You know what I mean? Like, that's <laughs> yeah. the thing. Like, I, you know, people don't look at the other side of the story. And I don't we don't know the whole story, but we, we, we do have to understand that th- these people were getting paid, even if it was just salary. So, again, I, I, I think it's very admirable for him to stand up for gamers. I think it's very admirable. I think that was a great gesture. But, like, you, your boss asks you to do something, you, you got to do it. I mean, yeah. you know, and, and that, that's the part where I get confused on some of this stuff is that we forget that as much fun as games are, since a lot of people in the chat and a lot of people that listen to us and all of us on this panel were adults, um, like you, 
you do have to understand that these people also go to just like us. Like, yeah, they like making games, but I'm sure yeah. they'd much rather hit a scratch off ticket for 300 million and stay home like we all would. Yeah, right. Same, oh, yeah. Like, the first thing I do, I, I buy like a uh, some kind of uh, you know, like radio station, I'd be like, Mooch, right. we're, we're doing it legit Absolutely. now. Absolutely. I'd be right there behind you. I mean, just <laughs> nice. Don't forget to give me some money, crap. Oh, uh, dude, no. <laughs> you, dude, you'd, be, you'd be a millionaire, man. Like, I, <laughs> I'd be the Robin Quivers money yeah, equivalent. You would, yes. <laughs> you would, because right. you'd be chiming in, man. You'd be like, Absolutely. Hey, that's a good one, uh, crap. But yeah. we, the strippers are coming in at three. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> Get the kid oh, shit. Uh All right. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> Private parts reference. Uh, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I just think that people got to look at this as like a business and I hope that people do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, ultimately I, I think it was very admirable for what the guy did, but you know, it cost him a job. Yeah, yeah exactly. When, I, it, when it comes to EA though, like what you're saying makes co po completely, okay. It makes perfect sense right now. It didn't before because well, EA didn't have the reputation that they had before. So they probably would lure, you know, smaller devs in and be like, yeah, of course, we're going to support you with your vision, right? So they just threw all this money at them and they really needed it. But now, in the case of today and seeing how games have died in their hands, AK, Mass Effect, and Dead mm -hmm. Space, sorry, Luca, but um, <laughs> I mean, EA is doing this. And right now, like Respawn, I'm surprised that they're like, yeah, give me that check, definitely, because. Well, this might happen to them as well with their upcoming games. Um, so it is kind of scary to know that EA has shut down about 28 different uh, like developers and Holy studios shit. and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this, what's it called? This gen no, between this generation and last generation, they've done that. Yeah. And that's it's kind of scary. Yeah, because you you know you're kind of you feel bad for these devs that are like, oh yeah, I just wanted to make my game, but yet they get manhandled by this big company, and it's like you have to do it this way instead because yeah. you're working with them now. Yeah. So like, Mooch has great points, but I if I mean if I was a small dev and they came over here, I'm be like, nah, I'm good. Well, yeah. and, and that's what Insomniac all, does. You know, they're like, we don't want to be. Yeah. But another yeah. big thing about that too is is that that's also a part of like your contracts and that sort of thing. So if you're in business. And you're an independent developer, and somebody offers to buy you out. They said, "Oh, you can still make your game. You got to cover yourself legally with that." Still. Yep. Yep. Look yeah, at the fine I'm, print. It is. Yeah. It is true. But I just think that they've really kind of regressed because they went through that time where they were doing really good, and then Battlefront sounded so good. Battlefront Two. Remember, they're like, "No season pass." Blah blah blah. <laughs> oh, your maps kind of are like, free, and I was like, "Yay!" Yeah. Everybody was excited. The game looks great, and realistically, the game is really good if you were to just take out the loot crates this would be like a nine out of ten i would absolutely love it it's the fact you know, that everybody I mean, that that yeah, and ahead. that that's what's gonna suck crap because we're not gonna get be able to have we're not gonna be able to have a fair debate on what people think of the game because that's not really fair to say like a sass, shout out to assassin assassin's probably yeah. the, the biggest star wars fan of all time that's and he's joke. pissed at this yeah. game and you know the thing about it is i said this Okay, uh, no one, no one's gonna give Mooch's a uh, Mooch's right shirt out there, but like the game is oh, the game is okay, you know, crap. And, and I'm gonna say what I said last time. I think it's beautiful. I think the game really immerses you in the campaign into the Star Wars world. It does a really good job of that. But the shooting mechanic, the fighting overall, and some of and you know, remember how everybody was making fun of Mass Effect Andromeda with the, with the way when you squatted down, the legs went out to the side, and you look like a kind of like you had to take a shit. <laughs> And you're walking down the stairs. That's the same thing you do in this game. When you duck down and walk, you're like crouching, but your legs are wide open. Like it, no one, no one's understanding that. A lot of people just want to hide behind saying, "Oh, it's because of the loot crates. It's got a bad rating." I, I, I still, now that I own it and I've played it, I can tell you this much. Okay, this game has no longevity to it. I don't care that they added more content. They added, they added the more. I agree. The campaign wasn't even. That's not even my beef, Noof. It, it's it's too it's too casual. It's way too casual to keep people interested past February. It has nothing to it that you're like, I can't wait to get back to this thing in February. If you're a COD fan, if you're a Destiny fan or a Halo fan or a Gears fan, if you're any of those four and you've been playing those four games for a long time multiplayer, this game will not hold your attention. I guarantee it for more than a month. I guarantee it. I don't know. I, I think that the, that the online is good. The problem is... It, it suffered a major blow right away. 60% Absolutely. sales down. That, uh, right. We're not going to get a good rendition of whether the game is getting critiqued on loot crates or the game's yeah. getting critiqued because it's mediocre. We're not going to know well, let's that. Get, it's, all the reviews it, all are like loot crates. 
You know what I mean? Right. Like in the review, right. it's like, right. hey, this is a this is a problem, you know, and it's so, uh, well, go ahead, so go you ahead. don't think that after the movie comes out, all the casuals that don't know about this loot crate stuff, are you don't think they're going to jump on, on board and they, and they hear might. about the, the new maps or the free maps and um, all the events that they're going to do for this game? You think that's not going to affect the game in a positive way? No. It could. It, it, it could. You know, Star Wars is a big movie. Remember the first uh, Battlefront? That came out around the time that, that, that the you, new Star it, Wars don't, movie You don't get things and... confused because this is the thing we were talking about last week on the show. Okay, people get this confused. I'm not saying that Star Wars Battlefront 2 isn't going to sell like 25 million copies. I doubt I'm not, it now. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, it still will. It still will. I'm he doesn't about, think people are going to stay on it. <laughs> I'm talking about longevity. Yeah, and, uh, yeah the uh, user base. Like, like Overwatch, right? <laughs> Dude, you can say whatever you want with Overwatch. Overwatch success is PC based, not Xbox. And and that's just that's the way that that'll I'll go to the grave feeling that way. There's nobody that's ever saying, "Hey, pick up Overwatch. I can't wait to play it." There's nobody on my friends list playing it. There's nobody. On, I checked with like ten other people. I'm like, you just and then Esky Boy. Shout out to Esky Boy, who's an awesome dude who follows us all. He's a yeah. diehard Overwatch player, and he even commented and said, "Mooch, I play the shit out of this game." And nobody on my friends list does. Listen, it, it's just, it's not an Xbox. Like, do I, that doesn't mean people don't pop on. I understand people pop on. There's still people playing fucking Witcher. There's still people playing Rise sometimes. There's people popping on. But that game, there's more people playing Black Ops 3 than that. Like, it's it, that game is still around because of the PC. <laughs> It's a PC game. <laughs> I don't. Hey, um, who was that? Someone named Lisha just said that the uh, Lisha O'Connell said the end of the campaign for Battlefront Two comes out December fifteenth. Because if you know, you played at the end, and then there's that little right the uh, part discovery of the or whatever. Or whatever it's called. Or yeah, something. yeah. So where you get to play as Kylo Ren, which was pretty cool. I thought. You know, I thought it was. I, was like, I thought hey. it was very cool. I, I like playing as, as Kylo, but again, the the in the same thing when you were Luke uh, on that on that planet. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the lightsaber mechanics are you walk up to an enemy that was right in front of you and you're like, <laughs> and like it took, it took three, it took three <laughs> to kill the guy and I'm right fucking in front of it. Um, you know, it's just stupid. It was like, it was like whiffing and stuff. I don't know. It, it was okay. The game is not, the game's not great. I think if you take the loot crate mm. thing out of it, I think the game's a seven and a half. You're wrong it's a nine all day it is a nine god damn it i'm telling you I that wanna, game has everything. it has a single player arcade multiplayer various multiplayers starfighter assault you know, Star 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 Luke skywalker's hair looks like a fucking lego head <laughs> <It does. laughs> <laughs> blue, you know, blue, the guy somebody blue rain in the chat goes mooch people still play battlefront 2015 yeah those are people that didn't buy a game after battlefront 2015 of course they're still <laughs> playing it it's all they have Hey, ladies and gentlemen, but you want to hang out with Mooch, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You also want me for your stock Star Wars tips. and birthdays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we got almost 600 watching and hardly any light. Come on, people. We're putting on a show for you for on Thanksgiving Smack that like button. I got, I got a couple of lovely ladies in here, and you can't give us some likes? Come on. You know, what, what are you going to do? I mean, ladies, where, where's our uh, Ash and Luca here? She's kind of quiet. She, she's eating chicken wings. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, um, listen, I'm just Star taking, Wars. listen, I'm just taking in what everyone has to say. Also, Star Wars is boring to me, so. <laughs> Thank you, Luca. <Luke>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, George. I got to show your comment. Mooch sucks again. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. His name's not George. It's Jorge, first of all. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Go for crap. <laughs> Voting for people who hate English. Um, <laughs> what? What do you mean? It. It's Jorge. The Latinos Jorge? love crap gamers. I thought it was well, George. Saying. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Jorge. There. <laughs> no, I, look, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just saying, like my whole game. thing. I, I think it holds. I think it holds water. <laughs> I think people kind of the same thing. I said, people right now are literally in their kitchens listening to this podcast. They're looking down with their cookie they're eating, and they're wiping their face with a Star Wars napkin, and they don't know why they bought it. Okay, <laughs> people are buying Star Wars everything, everything from underwear to toilet paper. It's getting ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Hey, nothing wrong with too much of a good thing. There's never such thing. Oh, man. there so. sure is, buddy. And you're about to find out. It's called Star Wars <laughs> Hangover. People Dude, are. I love Star Wars, man. I love Star people... Wars too. But come on, already. Like this game. This game is. It. Listen, I'm going to use your word. Ready? Here it comes crap. Yeah. It's hashtag yeah. fun. It's a fun. It game. is. 
but it's not a you nine. Point for me. No. Oh, it is no. a nine. I think it's a nine. No. To me, it's Stop a nine. Stop making the balls at Chuck E. Cheese. It's fun, but I'm not doing it, crap. <laughs> well, this is different than jumping into some dirty balls. <laughs> this is oh, like playing a fucking oh, great game. Oh, yeah. See, the crap's on the material. <laughs> crap, goes, crap goes to Cinemax after night. Uh, oh, no. like, like, oh. You know, those things are swimming with diseases. Oh, here we go. Listen, you know what I mean? Like, it's a pun. Listen, my thing is this. Okay. <laughs> it's not that good. And that's, and I'm just telling you, the initial sales are going to be fantastic. And that, that means that Battlefront 3 is probably going to be a thing. And I don't think that it shouldn't be a thing. I'm just saying, like, people are like, come on, it's this, and it's getting this, this, and it's getting more of this, and it's getting more of that. Yeah, but it's getting more mediocrity. And that's not a good thing. There's nothing about this game. Like I played all the um the aerial boards, the aerial like aircraft with Star Wars. Yeah, those are fun as hell. It is fun, but crap, do you do you really do you really want to play those aerial assault things for like six, seven, eight months straight? Are you crazy? You need like a uh, puke bucket and don't eat six hours before you play. Like I, it's you know, not that fun for hours and hours and hours. I, I think it is, man. I, like, I, I like. I mean, granted, like, I'm playing a lot of stuff right now, so it is hard to sit there and go, "Oh, well, let me kind of uh, focus on Battlefront 2 right now, like the multiplayer and stuff," just because I've been just playing through the campaigns and stuff. But I do think that it's a game that I could get into, like, hop on with the team or whatever, and have a good time with it. Yeah, I, sure. I don't understand. Wait, like, every time I critique one game, I could be critiquing Smurfs, and somebody's like, "But Moose likes Destiny." <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Like, Don Julio Mustacho, which I, I think is a great name, by the way. I'm a big fan of Don Julio Mustacho. Uh, he says, but yet Mooch loves Destiny, a fire team of three people. What the hell does that have to do with Star Wars being mediocre? That's like saying, I, but Mooch likes sprinkles on his soft ice cream. What? <laughs> Who cares? What does that have to do with Star Wars being mediocre? I don't get it. I don't understand that. I don't, to be fair, man, I don't think it's mediocre. I mean, I mean like that's that's okay. a you thing. But yeah, it's a me it's a me thing until is. until February, and then it's an EA yeah. thing. Um, listen, yeah. you know, I, I think it's it's got a, it's got longevity about February. What's the, like like Fox said, the movie will come out. The movie will be great. Uh, it'll hype people up again. Everyone's gonna go out and buy another batch of of uh, Star Wars napkins, and they'll pick this game up. And then they'll play it for another month, and then it's 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 just like Battlefront One. It's gone. It's just gone. Oh, money you have, rip you off. I will. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good move. Awesome. Yoda, God damn it. Um, <laughs> Phil Spencer was talking again about first party studios uh, and first party games coming. Yes. Uh, this I thought was pretty cool because you know a lot of people just like think Phil Spencer's full of shit or whatever. Uh, he did. I, a, I, no, Phil Spencer <laughs> says he's a he's an honest dude. You know what I mean? Like the stuff that he said has been pretty accurate. Uh, just even going back to when he said if we did do an upgraded console, it would be a big jump, right? Not a half step. You wouldn't have to like dig into your console and like upgrade shit. Uh, he was right about that. Uh, they fixed the back end with the Xbox Live stuff. They fixed the hardware problem. Uh, now it's on to the to the software stuff. They closed down, trimmed the fat, like me and Mooch have been saying with uh. Uh, Lionhead and some of that other bullshit that was running away with like the high budgets. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people don't understand that, but how the hell was Fable Legends going to make any money when they were at $100 million already invested in a fucking free to play game? Right. You know, like that doesn't make any sense. It's like whoever's fault that was to begin with. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a bad investment to begin with. So we'll see how that goes. But, um, you know, he said games are coming and, and you've heard too, Mooch, like from the same people I have that, this E3, and I'm not saying we should just like be content with wait till E3, because but I do think that we have a good amount of games lined up for next year, right? Including the Forza Horizon 4 uh, leak, and I know that's just like oh another Forza Horizon, but uh, supposedly takes place in Japan, uh, which I think would be. A I think that's cool pretty. Yeah, I, I actually think that is yeah. pretty cool because I like. I mean, let's let's think about the geography there, right? So in Japan, it's really tight streets, really narrow racing. Yeah. I like that. Did you see the pictures like neon and everything? Yeah, I dig that, man. Well, you that can you used to imagine that with sex. HDR. Yeah, yeah. Oh, HDR. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Probably, like that would be yeah. fucking. That would be phenomenal. Yeah, um, I think that that would hey, be cool. Speaking of that crap, I do have a question for the panel because I mean, to ask you guys. I figured I'd ask on the air. Um, when you guys are playing Battlefront Two with the HDR. Is there some funkiness that goes on sometimes where it looks like it's all out of whack and it looks like it's all like fuzzy around the lettering and stuff? Do you ever notice mm -hmm. that or not at all? I don't get it all the time. It happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. Is it going wooga 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 wooga? TV, <laughs> oh, no, TV. Sorry. No, no, not the radio. Okay. Yeah. 
uh, the TV. <laughs> so <laughs> crap was going into his acapella again. Um, yeah. So I don't know. My, the Battlefront Two, when it when it says Battlefront Two, sometimes it's like a like a halo. This weird, it, it's like a distorted halo. And people were saying that sometimes the HDR, you know, just doesn't doesn't show right sometimes so they said that they were saying that on digital foundry john whatever his name was uh -oh. he tweeted it out today he's like mm -hmm. hdr is out there but he's like he's like i'm finding that a lot of developers or i don't know if it's developers or whatever it is or the tv or whatever they, no, people just don't know how to quite use it yet yeah i agree with that statement mooch because yeah. uh, some games definitely pop more than others i mean the first game that i witnessed i think hdr in especially that blew me away was when i popped in forza horizon 3. it was almost like they developed that game with that in mind because it just it just really took it to another level but some games are really like really coming off the screen like hdr you see it with uh the lighting and stuff in gears 4 but i'm not noticing it as uh, much of a difference especially on the battlefront too Right, and you know, there's a few people in the chat. Timidos just said he knows what I'm talking about. Blue review says I got that too. Blue a few times while I was playing, I get uh, flashing sometimes on the screen. Oh, the flashing. the flashing! Yeah, flash. I got no, the no, flashing. No. That was I a, that's that. an addition to. Oh, okay, yeah, I got the flashing a couple times. You know what happened to me on Call of Duty World War II a couple times? Like it, this Vaseline effect, like during the cutscene, where like the the person in the foreground would be really mm. clear, but then the background would turn real muddy for a yeah. minute and then yeah like that happened to me too i don't i was like what the hell is this all about so i haven't experienced any issues with it so i damn that. you hell no i mean yeah, but here's so, the thing whether uh, someone's experiencing it or not it's it's occurring and oh, I, I don't know so that was no, no 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 yeah no really I'm, I'm saying that but that's an issue and i don't know where do you point the finger do you point the finger at the television do you point the finger at the developer do you point the finger at the uh, Xbox. I mean, it could go it could go a little bit both ways, right? Like, right. so the it's still a new thing. So developers, like, for one, HDR still isn't a huge isn't a huge thing on PC. Uh, that's still like a main development area for a lot of developers. So that's part of the issue. Another issue is that there's so many just like there's a standard for HDR, but it's not really a standard per se just yet. Plus, it's different so, HDRs. Like Xbox One has, S and X have different HDR than say PS4 Pro. Okay, so yeah. Alan Savage, who's a huge contributor to, to my channel and Craps, Alan's saying he's having the same thing. And Alan, I have an E7, so yeah, hit me up on Xbox. Let me know if you have a remedy or if there's something that we can yeah, do about that. That is interesting though, because that was like that happened to me twice on the Star Wars campaign. And I, at first, like it was in a ship, and I was like, oh, is the lights flickering on the ship or whatever? And then it just turned out no that because it, it happened again, right. and I was like, huh, that's odd. It sort of reminded me of Mafia Three. Yeah, that, yeah I don't know if you ever had yeah, that. Yeah, the flickering actually. That is the only thing I've had is the flickering on the uh, Battlefront. Yeah. Hey, keep it cheap, clean in the chat, people. Come on, what the fuck? I'm not even seeing anything, and I'm reading. Some of you chat. guys like just like relax a little bit, right? Like let's this isn't BGST. Let's let's keep it clean, <laughs> all right? Like seriously. <laughs> so anyway, Mooch, what do you guys think uh, about what do you think about the first party stuff? I mean, are you well, inclined to believe him or? Absolutely, uh, I think everything Phil Phil. The one thing that Phil has done 100 is what, what he's promised. He's given us. Let, let's talk about it, right games, games, games at E3 yep. done. Uh, he's talked about uh, bringing your games everywhere with you done. He's talked about that if you've ever bought an Xbox game, you should be able to play it anywhere at any time on any machine done. Uh, we're going to get better hardware, and when we do, it's not going to be incremental. It'll be monstrous done. Uh, now he's talking about building up his first party portfolio. Uh, why would why would I ever not believe him? Uh, yeah. So I totally Especially believe where he's him. At right now, like he ingratiated himself right next right. to in the right hand man of the ceo of microsoft right so he's got the right to say it yeah right but my you don't only have to like clear stuff with terry myerson anymore which right. is a, which is a good thing as well the only, the only but i have is is you know in part of this is not phil's it's not in his power as powerful as he is in the position he can't hurry something like this but he's got to he's got to get something out that's why i think he should take his time it's gonna take two three years to develop these these first party teams but he needs to go out there next year and buy something i know yeah. it sounds so so childish to say and i don't so like Microsoft saying it it is right, but right. they need to go out there and buy something and make it exclusive to their console yeah. and make a splash and give us that 12 months with that game so that we have he excuse me so that he has time for his other first party <laughs> studios to get those other games out that he's talking about he needs yeah. to buy something to buy time 
That's that's my my point. Yeah, well, I, I don't understand why they haven't just bought up Playground Games because they're making mm -hmm. what, a multiplat exclusive right now. Well, or, they uh, don't. They, nobody knows if it's a multiplat or exclusive, but they did come out. If you guys didn't know, they announced it. Mm -hmm. They're working on an open world action right. RPG on their B studio, but obviously they're the other studio. That's that's the new studio that they just opened, right? Right. right. But their their other they're they're still making a Horizon Four. Obviously, Microsoft's going to have to make a Horizon Four kind of leaked today that uh, it's going to take place in Japan and there was some kind of screen or something leaked with that. So um, that would make the most sense because what happens is if you're going to buy a studio, buy a studio that's talented and on the way up. Each game that they made, their first game was Forza Horizon 1, then 2, then 3, and then, you know what I mean? Each game has been progressively better. So they're a talented studio and they're growing studio. That's what you want, a creative studio. Buy them. You know what I mean? Like I know people maybe want them to make a big splash or something, uh, but honestly, just buy them, lock up the Horizon creators, get yourself an open world action RPG by these guys, and you might just like win over some people, you know? Just my opinion. Right. Yep. Any, anybody else? Luca, what do you think? Exclusives? You know Great what? I, I definitely believe Phil Spencer. Matter of fact, it kind of baffles me that at this point that people are still questioning whether or not he's telling the truth. I don't even understand why people would think he would lie about having more first party exclusives. You know, it, these things take time and I think we should all be patient. And there's so many multiplats to play. I mean, I think really everyone just needs to calm down <laughs> and play their games, you know? Hey, you're a preacher to the choir. I have so many damn games, and when I list them, they're like, oh, but those are just multi-plats or whatever, right? And I'm sitting there thinking, well, <laughs> I mean, games. they are. They, they're still games. It's like is Assassin's Creed uh, not a, a new game or a good game or, or you know, Wolfenstein 2 or uh, Shadow of War. You know, these are still good games and new games, and I also play multiplayer stuff. I still play Gears 4. I still, you know, Call of Duty World War II. I play that. They're still games. So people really, really... Uh, you know, just need to kind of chill out and just, you know, realize that there's that, that the reason the PS4 sold so well in the begin with was because people were like, hey, look, I can play the best versions of multiplats on this, you know? Yeah. And that's what happened. Multiplats are going to be are, are basically the bread and butter for gate for systems, anyways, honestly. At yeah, this point, yeah, exactly. that's true. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. but the exclusive aren't selling as, um, they're not selling as well as they used to. Now, I understand that exclusives are still important. It mm -hmm. like, it informs your decision on whether or not you're going to get a console or not. After all, I, to be perfectly honest, I bought my Xbox One because of the Skyrim and Fallout mods. So that kind of stuff, it's important, you know? Yeah. Oh, no, that is important, right? To be, to be able to do that kind of stuff uh, is hugely important, in my opinion. You know, you got to be able to, 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 to offer something for everybody. Uh, you know, and Microsoft were the ones that were offering the mods and stuff, and you play on console. So that made a, a lot of sense to you. Uh, I'm sure it made a lot of sense to a lot of other people too. Same with some people buy Xbox because it has Xbox Live or a better controller, right? Yeah. You know that's just that's just how it is. You know, people yeah. buy and different. One things. of my friends, he um, <clears throat> he had a PlayStation Four for most of the gen, and like two years ago, or whenever Halo Five came out, he, uh, I came into work one day. I was like, "Hey, man, uh, you want to get on some Call of Duty later or something?" You know, because uh, Black Ops Three was coming out. He's like, uh, <sighs> I sold my uh, I sold my PlayStation for the Xbox because of Halo. I'm like, oh, okay. So people still care about exclusives. Like they may not be selling as well this gen, but they still matter. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I think you both made a good point. I mean, Luca made her point with the games and crap. You made a good point with the controller. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but there are certain people, like I said, that eat at certain places because they have certain beverages that other aren't available at other places. Like there's certain pizzerias, like where I live, they sell beer at certain places. People go there. I'm like, the pizza there sucks. They're like, yeah, but I can get a beer here. I'm like, okay. Um, but like that's the way people think. And I do agree that Xbox Live, I think a controller, I think services and games that are exclusive to one particular platform. I was on PlayStation for um, last night or the night before. Uh, I, I mean, no, no big secret here. I'm a big fan of Uncharted, and they were giving away the, the ten Traitor. year anniversary. And, and, and you felt like you were just isolated on a desert island the whole time you were playing. I, I don't ever turn. I don't ever turn on my PlayStation Four without my Wilson volleyball with me. Um, always. I, I no. It, it was Wilson. a desolate island. There was nobody on. The only person that was on actually was all day. And uh, can't even blame all day, but like I sent all day, I sent all day a message because I was talking to him about like what I was looking for and this and that. And all day didn't get back to me for like two hours. He's like, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't even see you. I'm like, no, all day, you don't have to apologize, bro. I'm like, we like nobody sees anybody on that freaking. <laughs> 
console. <laughs> like nobody it's talks true. to anybody on that console ever. Like even when I see when I see the same friends that I have on Xbox that I see on PlayStation, there's no communication on PlayStation. When I log on the Xbox, like I get hit up all the time. Like all day, I always just pop into my chat. Like nobody does. But the thing is, me and all day, we weren't even in chats. Like there was nothing. There's never any social anything going on. And people are like, Mook, you don't know what you're talking about. I play Call of Duty all the time. All right. If you're a Call of Duty guy on PlayStation and you made the change from 360 to PS4, yes, I realize you're probably in a chat. I get it. But for all, I mean, there's people like somebody wrote this the other day too on Twitter. Crap. They were like, why is it I just switched from PlayStation to Xbox? And I know a lot of people are on Netflix and TV. And, and I said, well, welcome, welcome to 2017, my friend. Yeah. Uh, this is a box where people are in chats when they're in just watching TV. We're gamers that chat. We what? Because you're a gamer, you can't watch television. Yeah, I get so much. What shit is because my, wrong literally, with people? Literally, my Xbox is almost on all the time. Like when I'm asleep, or what, I might not even be home and my shit's on, right? Yeah. Or it's on Hulu or whatever because I just leave it on all the time. Yeah, and it's whisper quiet, by the way. But um, not only that, but people are always like, "Oh, but you're always on this or that," and it's like I might not even be around for that. But yeah, I literally like I use Hulu TV, right? So I don't have a satellite or cable. Right. Uh, yeah. So and to be perfectly honest, I think people need to be uh, more concerned about playing their own games than screenshotting other friends' yeah, lists. Saying, oh, look, no one, no one, look at everyone's, uh, no, no one's playing any games here. Like, you're not playing a game right now. You're on Twitter trying to start more console war stuff. So, yeah. Cool. Amen. Get a life, exactly. Loser. Exactly, Luca. You tell them. You tell those motherfuckers. You put them right <laughs> in their place. No, but and, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I I'm not even trying to go that. Crap's, crap's getting angry. Somebody give crap a smelling salt. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm just, I'm just, I was just, yeah, exactly right. I was just saying. My point being here is that the Xbox is is what Xbox said it was. I'm not trying to just preach their product, but like everyone that gets on Xbox, like they they they, they you do your Netflix, you watch your it's TV social, on it, you yeah. play your games, and well, yeah. you do everything on it. So like I have my TV hooked up through my Xbox. You're not able to do that on the PlayStation Four. So oh, yeah. I mean, the uh, whole thing is, is just a very social thing and everything you do on it's interconnected, right? I mean, you see what people are doing. You're like, hey, you want to play a game? Somebody said, I'll watch something. They're like, yeah, sure. Whatever. I mean, it just yeah, works. Exactly. And you know what? Another thing, like I've had my PlayStation all gen. I never talked to anyone. When I got my Xbox and people were hitting me up on Twitter, like, hey, you want to get in a party? I'm like, what? I had to go out and buy a headset. I had to go and buy Xbox Live. I was so confused about how any of that stuff worked because I wasn't used to it. And I was, like, pretty, like, closed off because I was like, I don't know. This is kind of weird. But now it's just, like, I've met and talked to way more people this year than I have in the three years I've had my PlayStation Exactly. Before. And yeah. just yeah, nobody, nobody could sell it better than what you just said. Yeah, Luca's always in a chat, like, with, you know, chatting with people. Have, you know yeah, what but I mean? that's oh, great. Yep. 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 Like, that's yep. what it's oh, all about. I, I don't understand. I just don't, I don't get this whole, like, I mean, man, I've been, maybe it's because of the era we grew up in crap. And I mean, we're a little bit older than some of the guys, you know, I, yeah. you have to understand, like, when, when you're like, everyone's like, I played Nintendo too. Y yeah, I get it. You played Nintendo as like a fun little retro thing when you were like, my point is like, we played it. Like you actually had to go over to your friend's house, ring the doorbell, ask the parents if your friend could come over, play fucking Mortal Kombat. They had to sit four fucking inches from you to play <laughs> with a two foot wire extension coming off the thing. That was how you played with your friend, right? Now I can play with a buddy of mine. That's in Australia. Are you crazy? Yeah, just like in the cable guy, right? right? Where he's like, you probably remember that, right? He's like, we're playing against the mortal Kombat against somebody in uh, Vietnam. Yeah. You know I what mean, I mean? Like, like <laughs> that's where we're at now, man. So like, this is an amazing is. thing for someone like me. It's still so great to be able to hang out with my friends that some of them went West coast. Some of them are in the middle of the country. They're all over the place. And I get to like jam out and play. And sometimes they're not like you say, sometimes you'll see, I'll be just playing something random. I'll even play like uh, what is it? Their trials fusion just to mess around and do something while I'm chatting with a buddy of mine and he's watching TV. Like that's what the Xbox provides you. If you don't like that, that's a you problem. Yeah. That's not a me Absolutely. Problem. And another thing, you know, even when I'm playing my PlayStation games, you know, me and um, Iceman, we were playing Bloodborne. We were on Xbox party chat while we were playing the game. You know, and I like I know that all day does that all the time when he's playing Horizon Zero Dawn. He's on the Xbox talking to us. How long can yeah. you play Horizon Zero Dawn? That game. <laughs> well, he all beat day it. Has to, all oh, day um, has to be in a chat, otherwise that game will put him in a coma. Yeah, that's a sleep. Yeah, uh, oh my god. His save file got corrupted, which oh. 
Ouch. That sucks. So and they also added, added some DLC recently. Yeah. Oh, you okay. To, you have to restart oh, from forgot. the beginning. So that, that DLC came out the same day as the Xbox One X, which coincidentally is the last time I touched any other console or anything. You know what I mean? Even my PSVR, which everybody will attest that I love, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't even touched. I haven't even booted that thing. I'm talking about PSVR I, I, too much in this episode. <laughs> I that accidentally wear my Vaseline PS glasses or something because I'm like the only person that really, really loves Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I think I think what Noof has forgot to tell us is that he ate a bag of mushrooms before he started. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, he listen, Noof, that out. Here's a 100% the, 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 the person that I know that likes those types of games the most is Hellheimer. Right? He just bought the Witcher Complete Edition so that he has that to go through with all new achievements. <laughs> when it gets enhanced in December, right? I I turn on my Xbox. It's like you've downloaded the Witcher Complete Edition. I'm like, fuck. You know what I mean? I didn't even finish the first one. Uh, you know what I mean? But it is cool because I did want to hop back in it, and I would like starting I over did, makes the most sense. I did buy uh, Blood and Wine. Uh, I did buy. Well, no, I bought the season pass. You should have just bought the. You, yeah, yeah but, you should have just bought the twenty dollars and no, got the all new achievements. No, and shit. didn't you miss the whole thing that was going on on Twitter? Twitter grapple like chimes in on Twitter when I talk about birthdays. Listen, <laughs> you know um, what the problem is with Twitter lately is everybody's whining and shit to bite his tongue fucking constantly because if <laughs> something really fell That's through. Me, Yes. Like it would be a big fucking thing. That's basically well, no, it. So crap. But the reason I didn't do the complete, <laughs> but the reason I didn't do the complete was a lot of people in dealer actually helped me out with it. Um, like if you do the complete season, it doesn't carry over your save file. So I want, I've gotten a decent like well, length in the game. I, I don't want to start over again. That, that would be good for yeah. crap gamer because they, they also carry over a save file where he's used one fucking potion the whole, <laughs> whole fucking game. I fucking use the potions. I'm like Hellhammer. How do you how do you get help back? He's like, you gotta use the potion. I was like, what fucking potion? He goes, Wait till uh, you tell him that he has to meditate to get the potions refilled again. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, one, one step at a time. One step at a time. No, I'm, I'm like, like I'm, I'm like, like swallow. I'm like, he goes, he goes on that crap. Where the hell's the enhancement on that game? It's coming in December, right? Oh, you so, got uh, news on yeah. it? All right. Well, yeah, that's what they said is gonna come in December. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, how am I so I was actually pretty far in the Witcher uh campaign or the the story right and he goes how the hell did you make it this far only making one potion i was like i just buy a bunch of food and shit and run away you're just sitting there like dodging shit all day what are you playing fucking dark souls i, I you know what i don't know <laughs> I mean, uh, look, I, I like the game a lot. I'm going to play through it once it's enhanced again, and I'm, starting from scratch would be the best way for me to do that because uh, it's like when you jump into a game after you haven't played it for a while, you're like, what the hell is going on? So I want to yeah. kind of avoid that. But, um, yeah, I, I fucking I love the uh, – I, I really love what's going on with the, with the sales and stuff. Like, how, what, have you guys picked anything up? Yeah. Well, I, I got uh, the Bioshock collection. Nice. Yeah, Probably I'm really excited to go through that. Period. <laughs> um, no, I picked up the the Witcher Three season pass, and then I'm on the fence right now. I'm probably gonna buy before the, the sales up. I'm probably gonna buy uh, Agents of Mayhem just because. Know, why I know not? Crap Gamers without the fence on uh, that Ghost Recon game. Yeah, yeah it's an awesome game. Hmm. Yeah, that game mode is supposed to be really good too. I, I think it is. I, I know a lot of people that actually do play that game and they like it, but like you have to have a crew crap. If you're not going to like assemble a crew and do the thing, it's eh. these guys I know play four yeah. four players strong that work with me. Like they play it like twice a week and they just go all in and they're like they were all about yeah. it. They committed. If you're not doing that and you're not getting a group, or you're not going to like com you're not going to commit to that. I say forget about it. Yeah, for you, for you, not not for the public. I mean, if the public's like, no, I like this. I want to commit. It's it's that. That's what I'm saying. You know, like Ghost Recon, Destiny, Anthem. People are like, fuck you, Destiny. Now, if you get out of the way, I got Ghost Recon to play. What the fuck? <laughs> like, that's the same thing. Like, you have to keep playing and log on and do the missions. And Anthem's going to be the same way, you know. And so everyone of you that doesn't like Destiny, hey, I wrote your name down. Uh, I don't want to hear anything about I love Anthem. <laughs> I love Anthem. And if you'll talk, just give me a minute. I got my right hand in the air and my left hand on the Bible. Get the fuck out of here. It's the same game. It's going to be different. You're going to have a jetpack, but you got to tune in every day. You got to do your dailies. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to fly to this planet, play the same dude 150 times. It's going to look cool. It's going to look great. I can't wait to play it. I like those games if you're following along, but a lot of people yeah. don't. And then they're like, I can't wait to get an anthem tattoo on my left calf. I'm going to get one on my left <laughs> calf just now, just because you said that, dude. That's going to be something I'm going to get. Uh, Look at Ed, Ed Torres in the chat. He goes, but anthem might have a good story. Ed, even if it's fantastic, it's going to last you about eight hours. And then the rest is going to be grind. 
So who cares? Well, I mean, How great that it's story it's gonna be? Though, like, like the 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 be the devil's advocate on that part, like right, like I don't like Destiny, and right. that's just because I don't like the story itself, right? Like I don't mind like level grind and all that stuff. That's all normal MMO crap that I've been through. It's not about uh, the story. Destiny's not about the story. It's about the the grind, the loot. Diablo story is not good. It's well, no. not, but it's about the grind. But the difference is, is that I actually have fun with that. They can have different mechanics. It can have different, you know, whatever on there. Not to mention, if they actually do have a good story, they can continue that just like they continued on an MMO. You play that's through a wait, it. You that's get that, a wait and see approach. Yeah, but you still you get that eight hours of gameplay in or whatever for the story, or eight ten hours, and then a month later you get another four or five six hours of gameplay out of it for that, just for story yeah. missions. Hey, let's get to 300 likes, lazy people. Come on, man. What is this? Yeah. Mooch's cha Spe channel? Let's oh, go. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of Destiny, uh, they have it for 39 which I think is a really good price. Uh, especially if you just want to see what they added in the story in the campaign. Because I enjoyed the campaign for the second game. The first game, it was all about the grind and all the craziness that I did. Like um, raids, strikes, nightfall. Uh, I did the crucible. Everything. I did all that stuff in the first one. So when I got Destiny 2, I really enjoyed the campaign and I kind of left it like that. Because everything else that is left to do, I already did in the first game. So yeah. if you guys want to pick that up for 39 I think it's worth it just for the campaign alone. Yeah, uh, there's actually there are so many good That's deals. True. If you guys want to follow Fox on Twitter, yeah. she's always tweeting out a lot of good deals and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, um, especially today in the morning. I did so many. Yeah, I know. I was, I was retweeting good, Foxy. Some. Yeah, what do you have? have yeah, what else you got? <laughs> oh, what? That, that was on sale on Xbox that I like? No, yeah, some of the ones you think are worth mentioning. Oh, okay. AC Origins is 42. That was awesome. Yeah, that is. A, um, that, if you have an X, pick that up for sure. Life is Strange Before the Storm, which is the newest one. That was 1749, which I really love that game so far. Uh, we have one episode left. And this one is a deluxe edition, which I actually adds an extra yeah, which has an extra episode after. Um what else? They have Mafia for 16. That's Great really good. Game. Mafia that's 3. Good that's yeah. that's actually on my I, I I crap kinda talking me into that one. Dude, I'm telling you, that is such a good game that I'll probably yeah. play through it again on the Make PS4. Make sure as well. you get the DLC because the DLC really adds a lot yeah. to it as well. Yeah, I'm gonna stream it yeah. tonight, Mooch, after this podcast. All right, it's a very good game. Like, yeah, I, mean, it out, I was, I, I really liked it. Yeah, I, I so think wait, it's, wait, so. The one with the DLC is what twenty or twenty five? Twenty four. Okay. That's the yeah, one with everything, I, actually. I yeah. think that I think that the DLC, like the add-ons, added a lot to it. I mean, that was just me personally. That last I, one with I, like I the cult, that was awesome. Like that the one little, was really awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, I liked them all. Like they were different, like almost completely different. Like the one you're, it's almost like a Rambo game where you're going so, in there. I think Mafia Three has won me over, and I'm putting Watch Dogs Two on the back burner. Watch Dogs 2 was also good, and you know what was funny was um, both those games last year, right, and I didn't expect much from them. Right. Uh, Hellhammer actually bought Mafia 3, and so I was playing it, and I was like, man, this game's so good. And then same thing with Watch Dogs 2 because I hated Watch Dogs 1. I hated it. It was so boring. Right, I play Watch Dogs too, and yeah, it's kind of cheesy with like the, you know, the, I, I the hipsters think, I, or whatever. I think, I think the whole so California good. thing will just get me ill. Yeah, I, probably honestly, will. I, I, I would say more. probably your your safer bet is Mafia. I think both games yeah. are good, yeah. but yeah. the safer yeah. bet is Mafia. And at least and right now, as it sits, anyways, Mafia is at least enhanced for the X. So you get yeah, more it out of a it. Good enhancement for the X. It, uh, they put a lot of improvements in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lighting is better. The textures are better. The frame rate's more consistent now. Uh, I mean, it's just overall the game is much much smoother, much nicer looking now. Yeah. I, I I I dig it. You know what? I picked up uh, Injustice Two as well. It's twenty bucks right now. Yeah. That's not in the Black Friday sales, but that's just part of the weekly sales. Your thumbs yeah. hate you right now. Well, <laughs> I, you know what? I was just like, I just did it. I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. What the hell? You know what I mean? Like, it's a great game. Well, yeah. yeah, I heard it's. I heard it's really good. Um, and it's enhanced too for twenty Foxy, bucks. Foxy, do you want to tell them about the time we played each other? <laughs> No, not Ooh, really. <laughs> Crappy. We need to play so I can fight. I need to um, oh. get some my skills up because I Luca suck. wiped the floor with me. Well, uh, you know, I'll tell you a story. Me, like played against the bot, basically, like the <laughs> <trade> <laughs> Oh <laughs> damn! Me and Mooch, me and Mooch had this thing where we had to do this. Uh, what was it for Danny Boy's tournament or whatever? So me yeah. and Mooch are playing right Mortal Kombat. I hadn't played like Mortal Kombat in forever, so we play. I wear myself out in the first round. 
and beat it. I beat Moose the first round, and then I lost the next six. Yeah, because my hands were tired. Right, like I yeah. couldn't do anything. This one's way better. The secret to better. the secret to Mortal Kombat is use your feet. That's a- <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just always hear people like crunching on the buttons, like. Rrr. But yeah, I bought um, I bought the freaking, I bought everything that pretty much was on sale. It was like um, I oh, L.A. Noir got somebody. I mooched that. Uh, shout out to Stop Six Doc because he was like, "Hey man, I'm gonna hook you up." And I was like, hey, that, oh, game, yeah. "That game is good, except for the the cutscenes are a bit suspect to all it, but that's all right." That's yeah, because they don't. It's an eye simulator. Go ahead, I apologize. Well, no, they didn't. What well, what happens is it is a 4K game, right? But it's like the way that they did it was the cutscenes. I think are like 720p or some shit still. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's obviously upscaled. upscaled so it, it, yeah. the cutscenes, eh. Like when I first started it up, because I actually really liked that game. That was actually one of my favorite games from last generation. Yeah, and I started it up the other day just because I was like, I really kind of want to see what it looks like on the X with enhancements. I was like, I know it's not going to look as good as you know, say like Assassin's Creed or something, but I was like, it'll probably look better. And like the first thing I see it see was the cutscene. I was like, oh god. Yeah. And then but once you get into actual into get into the actual game, it looks you know pretty damn good. Yeah. Also, if you guys are looking for um for if you're trying out 4K Blu-rays on your S or your X. They're on sale as well, like Black Friday and stuff, like even online for 10 bucks. Like you're never going to find cheaper ones than that. I actually, some of them started sales early and I ordered some um, from uh, various outlets as well for like 10 bucks a piece. So like, yeah, you can't I think go wrong Best there. Buy had a lot of cheap ones as well. Yeah, I bought, I bought most of those. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> hey, I'm going to buy this well, one. You know, it's funny. So I saw in this one, all, you know, I, I've been going on every day and kind of looking and making, I'm going to, I like how I procrastinate making a buy on these, these sales to the last day. But. <laughs> Yeah, um, but you know what? Much goes. I'm I'm buying this game, this game, this game, this game, and then he find out he hasn't bought any of them fucking games. Not yet. I will. Yeah. I'm gonna buy them though. I will. But I went over to PlayStation. Like I said, I was grabbing that 10 year thing from uh, Uncharted, so I I finally got Happy it. Happy birthday, Uncharted yeah. 10. Happy birthday, Ooh. Uncharted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey. And uh, so um, while I was on there, I was like, oh look, they they actually have a Black Friday sale. So I go on. It's like 20 games, and they're like FIFA, Madden. Uncharted 4. <laughs> Who gives a shit 8? And I'm like, what? What the fuck <laughs> is this? Like, Xbox has every game made this generation on sale. And PlayStation has 20 games. Like, that's yeah. embarrassing. If Not I was that, a lot of their like, games that are on sale. sale down, we look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the games that have on sale. <laughs> I'm not going to open like... up an ice cream shop next to Baskin Robbins. They got 31 <laughs> flavors. I got two? And like, hey, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, you're not wrong. You're, you're not wrong. Their their sale is pretty bad. Like I was bad, looking at, you know, yeah, you know, as a good sale, if you like physical stuff, is GameFly. Yeah. Right now they got they got a good like Mass Effect Andromeda, eight mm. bucks or eight ninety nine or oh, some yeah, shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they got like Titanfall is like ten bucks or twelve bucks. Titanfall two. I mean, uh, they've got all, really good sales on that if you're like into the physical and stuff like that. So. Uh, there is a lot of cool stuff uh, going on for sales and things. Uh, so make sure you guys uh, check that out. You know what? Like something that <laughs> I did this video and I didn't think anybody would give a shit about this video because I saw I came across this. Um, Microsoft was warning people not to plug your Xbox One X or S into a surge protector. And I was like, is this thing legit? So you check and they're like, no, don't do this. And you want to know why? Because it prevents your, your X from functioning properly because it's not getting the amount of power that it needs. You know what I mean? Because it has a built-in well, search protector listen, already. Can I can I just say this? Uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. For the first time, I'm not listening to Microsoft. Okay, because two <laughs> reasons. First of all, that doesn't hold a lot of water. Number two, even if you want to buy into that, it's not getting enough power. Thing. Do they realize all the different various situations that people have their Xbox? I don't have a way right now, currently, with my entertainment center to run the the, the cable to the wall outlet. I have to use an extension mm. with a surge. There's no way there's no way possible that I can have a dedicated outlet moved over for my Xbox. Like that is the, you have to understand that crap, right? I mean, honestly, it's fine if we all want to say this that and the other thing and maybe their points is 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 technologically proven. But what I'm saying to you is that makes no effing sense. If that's how it was designed, I'm going to say this, that's a poor design because yeah. That's not fair to a lot of people. You want to? We're sitting here talking about team sticker, team no sticker, team vertical, team horizontal. That's all nonsense. This is fucking <laughs> team, team sticker, by the way. Team outlet, team surge <laughs> protector. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! What are you yeah, kidding hey, me? I don't have an outlet hey, near it. I'm team. I'm team sticker and team wall plug. That's what I'm saying. What I'm <laughs> gonna say, uh, my end for that is, is that 
I mean, te no, technically, it makes no sense, right? Because right. even if it's a built-in surge protector, you're still going to be probably the, the same about the same wattage and that sort of thing, right? <laughs> like my my PC draws way more wattage than that, right? I hook up that thing to a surge protector, causes no problem, right? Like I got like almost a thousand watt uh, power supply in the fucking thing. Also, he can play Witcher Three on PC because it's the only game he ever plays on PC. Oh yeah, I mean, I basically built this box just to play Witcher Three at the highest setting. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! But, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it really, it really makes no sense, right? Like, but Microsoft's been recommended this is the 360 days. The 360 even recommended not ha having it plugged directly into the wall. Yeah. And well, I, and what, I'm not you, sure you what know what happens, like when the power f uh, flickers or whatever, then you got to unplug the shit and plug it back in or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a but the thing is, is it, it makes no sense, right? Because like even if there is a built-in surge protector, which there isn't, there every fucking electronic you buy nowadays, honestly. Like, but if something happens and it surges, it's not something that you can. It's user serviceable since it's an internal power supply now. So you're yeah. still gonna have to send the fucking thing back to Microsoft to get it repaired, right? And that doesn't. It's still gonna have to pay to get it repaired. The part that bothers because me it, well, is that if 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 it if it's a bad surge, it's gonna trip that circuit, completely break the the surge part, yeah. and then you're stuck with a brick. It, basically, it just bothers me that repaired. that like they're saying you know it, it, your Xbox, which this makes no sense. Everyone's playing it. No one's been like, no, no, there's never been an instance your Xbox One X has said the same fucking thing that the guy said in Back to the Future Two. You need more power. They never said that to me. Uh, Why is this? What that makes no sense to me you at know all. What? I, I, and, and I would say maybe if you're using even a super cheap surge protector, like the right. four dollars, right, right, like yeah. run of the bill or whatever. But if you have a halfway decent surge protector, it's not going to cause any issues. But that four dollar one's going to cause an issue with anything you're running. That's right. Damn it. That's that could have been my problem, man. I was running about a three dollar and fifty cent one. You know what I mean? So dollar yeah. store stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I got like a, well, you know, a like, twenty dollars surge, but to, I, I've you know, also Rouse. got another optimal power supply. Stephen Rouse yeah. in the chat, he's like, you know, Mooch, it does cause problems. He's like, people have had problems. He goes, that happened to me with my ass. Stephen, you don't understand. This isn't like there's an outlet, there's an open space, and I'm just fucking reneging. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to do it because I can't do it. I don't have an outlet. It's not like I'm not doing it on purpose, right? Yeah. I mean, like, I don't have one accessible to me. Like, it, like right now, that's like I do have the outlet that the surge, but like and all that other stuff. But I, I can't like take that out. I'm using it for like two different surges. Like that would you mean I have to remove a surge. Hey, ha ha hippie Kusher says his first Xbox uh, one brick due to low power voltage. Uh, I mean, I mean that's a po it's a it's a very small possibility, right? But it's like. Some people are still living in houses with electric wiring from the 1950s. You know what I mean? So, like, some of it could right. be there might be more internal problems than just the wall outlet or the surge protector. Yeah, exactly. Low electricity in the house. Period. Right. Yeah. You know, and you know, I, I live in Florida, so I'm not gonna not have a surge protector hooked up to my $500 box. Sorry. Yeah. And I think <laughs> the farmer said it best. Like, even if it gets fried, like I got news for you: if that surge runs through your house crap and yours is plugged into the wall now. You're still sending your box back too, dude. I'm well, here, here's that. a funny story, right? We um back in the day with the 360s, I think was it yours, Halam, or your 360 yeah, got? Fine. Yeah, his, his 360 got fried because something got hit by lightning. Mine yeah. blew out the uh the uh what the hell was that the the network card or yeah, something the like that? Card. So he, it would turn on, but you couldn't you couldn't go online or do anything. I, I couldn't go online or anything. Yeah, it was fucking ridiculous, <laughs> right? So yeah, that was that was a pain in the ass. And yeah. Heimer's just broke. So yeah, his blew yeah, up. Man, yeah. I don't know. I just I hope that this 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 news that you found out crap. I I hope it's not that vital. Well, D Bat says that they walked back on that, but if you actually because when I when I did the video, I linked it because their official thing said don't you know we recommend don't plug it into a surge protector. Uh, but because, you know what? You know, read read some protection. of the manuals to some of your electronics. So, like even your TVs and everything nowadays, and, and read what they say. And most all everything says plug directly into the outlet or whatever. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that's, that's the warning on literally every single electronic device that you could possibly buy. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, look. I, I guess it's up to the person. I mine's in the wall now. I'd, ra I I'd rather risk. I'd rather risk getting damaged like this and having to send it back. The, the rarity of the, of something happening for that than the constant surges we get from thunderstorm hitting the fucking uh, power pole outside or something. Mm.
Right. Yeah, yeah that's true. true. But um, yeah, some people can't help it, and they got to do what they got to do. So Mooch, you know, that's understandable. Um, I think they're just trying to be safe and, you know, warn people just in case. I don't know what if this doing, is a Fox? must do. Um, I think mine's is on the outlet. It is. Oh, what about the power surge or just on the wall? What about Luca and Noof? What are you guys using? I use a surge protector, but mine's a fairly heavy duty one, which is meant to handle like uh, so many thousand wattage or voltage. Yeah, same thing with me. Yeah, see, like, my yeah. surge protector is like a like a musical like instrument quality one. They're on like amplifiers and stuff. So I have that. Definitely. A, I mean, he, I he, mine's not... he overdid it, but okay. I can't. <laughs> well, I, I already can't, have it. I can't run a Metallica concert off mine, but I mean, I can. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I, got... already ha I already had this one, and I, had, I was like, I'm just gonna use this. Crap, you're in the I'm wall now, the wall. right? Luca, what are you yeah, doing? Luca, you're in the wall? Yeah. Yeah. See, Smart. I, that's, just how, that's just how I my had room it. is set up. So. Yeah. yeah, I had we'll it on a, like, a single well, like skinny strip, but I got a new one that's a little bit thicker, and I think it's better. Um, yeah. And I think that's why my brother bought that one, because it, it protects it better or whatever. So I put that on the Xbox, and I'm like, hell yeah. We'll, we'll come back here in a few months to see who's who's Xbox One X is completely dead. Who is it still yeah. running? Who's still alive? <laughs> <laughs> the Hunger well, Games games edition of, of Xbox. Replace a ten or twenty dollars surge bar as opposed to a five or six hundred dollars. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's up to the people. If they walk it back, then they walk it back. I don't know, but you know, one thing that they can't walk back is this shitty December games with gold. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Oh, wow. segue. Yeah, wow. uh, exactly. Right. That was a good segue. That was good. Uh, so if you guys don't know, it's Warhammer Vermintide. They don't want to know. Uh, Back to the Future, <laughs> the Telltale games, which I got to tell you, because even if you're a Telltale fan like me, right, this is early Telltale where they got you clunkily walking around. Right, like uh, it's weird. It's, so it's not one of the better. Smoothly like walking around with that broken wheel around in the game the whole time. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's weird. So I mean, it's okay game, and it does it's got some of the voice. It has a good action. story. Yeah, it is. But you got to sit, get through the clunky ass walking around where you're like gliding across the street. And shit. It's bad. <laughs> I think um, this one then, came out right before The Walking Dead, the first. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. even though they remastered yeah. it a little bit, and they got the original voice from uh, was a Biff. Um, it, it's yeah. it's a decent game, but it's not and like top or anything. Like and, that. and the guy who does the Michael J. Fox impersonation person, is spot on. Like he sounds just like him. Yeah, nice. So I mean that that part is cool. And then here's the 360 game, Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. I mean, yeah. What mm -hmm. the hell is that? Uh, that who? Who? Dude, I really heard I of. No idea. And then Child of Eden, which was a Connect game, but you could also use the controller. It's actually pretty fun. Oh so yeah, the Connect game. Yeah, it's yeah, like a music so. based What's this game. Connect you speak of. <laughs> I, told you, I told you i told you game pass killed games with gold i stick by it i stand by it dude i'm thinking the same thing noof because the fucking uh gears not of war 4 month. heads to game pass not one month since game pass went live has games of gold been like oh my god this blew my ass off but what wow, we <laughs> remember before games remember before like game pass we had like sunset overdrive and rise son of rome and like there was like some really good yeah. games in there and all of a sudden now it's like almost like i guess, oh, I guess i'm like digging in the backlog for shit nobody's even heard of now to put <laughs> yeah like Mar this marlo game like i didn't even hear of that yeah, I, don't even, I didn't even really know such a game on. existed <laughs> yeah. even, even the last two 360 games they gave us, I never heard of either, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? They're like, yeah, Eden, yeah, they're like man, what's, what's right. some of these obscure ass games nobody's ever heard of? I have Child they're of Eden. They're I thought hidden that was gems, pretty good. bro. They're hidden gems. <laughs> I, I thought I thought Child of Eden was actually okay if you like those types of games. Well, last yeah, month, yeah, it's, it's last cute. month's PS Plus was terrible, so we'll see what they come up with. Oh, they don't need to come out with anything. They're Sony. Come on. You know, maybe yeah. they'll bring back an updated version of Uno. We'll get all the people with their dongs hanging on the camera again. So maybe oh, no, not that. again. No. <laughs> I've seen too much of that. It scarred my life. <laughs> Can you just lay down your next card, please? I didn't ask for that. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? I actually got hate. I was playing Disneyland Adventures on Xbox One X, right? And people were actually, uh, like, thumbs downing, like, and, and doing the thumbs down emoji on the uh when i got an achievement on that <laughs> like, damn like, on, oh, <laughs> playing a game, you know yeah exactly fox i'm like damn man you can't do anything uh, now that you have people complaining I mean, those about. games are kind of fun little time killers 
Yeah, yeah and you get like you you scrape you scrape together some some good achievements off those as well. Yeah. Achievement I mean, hunter. You know? If you got like yeah. 15, 20 minutes to kill and there's nothing else you can play, I mean that's those are okay enough to start. Yeah, up those are a little bit around with. And, and they're four K too, so I mean, yeah. They're they're 4K. I, I expected mean, from Rand, but not you, crap gamer. I can't believe this. Yeah, yeah I, crap, I, you're a bum for run. playing that game. <laughs> you're like, a bum. Block you right now. Oh man. I yeah. blocked him because he talked about PSVR this whole time, so he's blocked already. I, I didn't. I mentioned PSVR like quite like twice. That Three was times. It. Like, it was, I counted, but okay. It wasn't. Even- one of the times was because Mooch has been asking me about PSVR earlier today. He's like, hey, look, he just can't stop talking. About it. He doesn't even play it. PSVR. He's like, PSVR, yeah, PSVR. I, I haven't even touched PSVR since the Xbox look, One X came out. It's oh, so also, you have a sticker on your console. I blocked you anyway. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I do all of them, right? Uh, it's fun. Hey, Nick, thanks for the five bucks. I appreciate it. Uh, you see, Mooch ain't the only one that has fans. And Nick, if you think this is funny, tune in to Crossfire. <laughs> hey, I'll be there as well, but then I probably won't talk as much. I'll be like, because eh, pe- there's a lot of people in there, and they're always like, they, I don't know. It's like, crap gamers, shut up. And I'm like, okay. But yeah, this is a pretty <laughs> shitty month again. Uh, yeah, one of the games I've never even heard of. Uh, it doesn't oh, look good. Man, you, you've heard of it. <laughs> I've, I've never heard, heard of it. it. Marlo, <laughs> Marlo <laughs> Briggs in the Mask of Death. Apparently, it's like a hack and slash type of game. And uh, it's like very comic booky style. I don't know. Uh, well, maybe I was I'll watching try some it. videos about it, but it doesn't look that great. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe I'll, I'll try it. I, I don't, I don't know. But usually, when I download the 360 ones, I don't even really play it. You know, it's just like one of those things that you I just, just I click download, download and I instantly cancel the download unless it's one that HSV. Yeah, um, Mooch. The Xbox One X sells 1,000 units in Japan. Uh, Damn, big there. numbers. <laughs> Did they have a birthday for that? Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, just, just so you guys know. No, they had a funeral. That's cold-blooded. Damn. It's true. No, it's it's true. the four-year anniversary of the Xbox One. Four years ago tonight, uh, me and Hellhammer were camping out. Well, we weren't camping out, but we were over at this GameStop, uh, first in line to get our Xbox Ones. and um, Yeah, it was a damn good time. extra shit. That we yeah, getting had. hassled by the Probably man like who was like years of Xbox Live. You're gonna need it eventually. I'm like, I just, I'm like, I just bought Xbox Live. Yeah, but you're gonna need it eventually. Eventually, it'll run out. I'm like, I'm good. You know, oh, you want to buy extra controllers? I'm like, I got like six games and a five hundred dollar console. <laughs> yeah, like, you want a day one a mug? <laughs> you want a day one hat? A shirt? <laughs> yeah, well, well, this is what how, like they were giving out shirts and stuff, right? And Hellheimer goes, I'm gonna go in and get me a shirt. Like them shirts wouldn't fit me, but still, you know what I mean? He hey. went in there, got him. I got like a lanyard or some shit. Uh, so. I, 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 I have two shirts actually because I went inside. <laughs> And I got one, and then as I was going inside, they went out and handed one to my wife as well. So I was like, score, two shirts. Yeah, two shirts, and I got none. Well, they wouldn't. I could have, like, cut one open, cut one, and <laughs> sewed it just, onto another just shirt. Just sewed it onto, <laughs> onto the front of another shirt. You'd be good. Exactly. I mean, that's that's really <laughs> kick-ass, right? So, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Hey, we got another one, man. We got Evolve, man. Uh, <laughs> somebody's like, laughing out loud while he was drinking. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, you guys are, are rocking it. Um, yeah, so yeah, Xbox One turns four years old. Rise, and of course, turns four. <laughs> and same thing with like Dead Rising 3, Forza to 5, all that kind of stuff. Been a weird four years, huh, guys? Like, mm-hmm. um, yeah. I know you're not one to celebrate shit, Mooch, but I mean, honestly, it's like four years of shit, mostly. I mean, not not the game-wise. I, no. I think it was been a good generation, maybe a slow start, but... Um, yeah, it's, you you know, know, it's just, interesting you say that because I've been watching a lot of the Digital Foundry stuff, like I have been for the past three, four years. And it's yep. just weird to listen to them and uh, Game Informer and all. It's it's weird to watch these shows that I watch and they're like, and you know, surprisingly, the Xbox One X is the better platform, and that's where you should you know play your multiplats. It is really really so. And I'm like, like I'm honestly like cleaning my ears out, and I'm like, what the fuck is like almost like when you get out of a pool and you hear that wavy shit in your ear still. You're like, what? That's not like, yeah. this isn't right. <laughs> Shaking your head left and right to get the water out. Like, um, like it is weird. It's it's been and this is freaky. I'm not gonna lie. For all of you guys that have been with us for the past, you know, three years, and we've been like, you know, hold on, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Hold on. We're like that crazy <laughs> captain on a fucking airplane, and it's real windy out. We're like, everybody just stay seated. Just stay seated. We'll have more refreshments as hmm. soon as the airplane gets back to normal. Well, we're there, and I mean, like, it's been it's been a long ride, but um, yeah, it's just yeah. great. It has it's been it's been absolutely a wild ride, and it, I'm just I'm glad we 
I'm glad we fucking landed. I'll tell you that much. Hey, you're not more glad than I am because think about this, right? Like the whole reason that, and I've told this story a bunch of times, I was just doing where the reviews aren't always crappy, but the reviews really are or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I was just doing that shit. Right. And next thing you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get an Xbox one. And people are like, why? I'm like, well, you know, like killer instincts back dead rising three, Forza five Titanfall. Like these are reasons, you know, I'm not interested in that kill zone. And they're like if that if, if that intro to Killer Instinct when they put that up there didn't sell the console like it did to me, where it's like oh they got the Xbox One and I was like shit, <laughs> you know, like, that sold the, that's what sold the console to me, <laughs> like literally yeah, exactly. that's what sold it to me. Exactly, you know what I mean? Like that's right. that. I was like Killer Instinct. I know you're not a big Killer Instinct fan, which but for me, I was like, hell yeah, man, that that's amazing. You know, I was I was really looking forward to that. It's it's and too bad too. I, I I don't. I am I'm puzzled. I mean, it's one of the you know. I always write something down. I'm like, uh, man, how the hell do people still play? I love. There's you're talking to somebody who absolutely loved Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter when I was a kid. Like you have no idea how much yeah. I love. But the whole idea behind it that was fun again. It was like genuine couch co-op. Like your buddies were all over, and like loser had to like step off. You know give the controller to the next kid in line and like you busted you bust balls and you just go hard and you're like oh yeah i kick your ass blah blah that's that like that was the fun part about it like playing up the you know like when you play mortal Kombat and you work your way up the the accomplishment to get to the last guy like yeah, yeah. you do that and then when you're done it's like okay so, so so now what like i mean like i don't i don't see why everybody likes it so much i don't get it i mean i know we have these tournaments now and there's arena and there's definitely molds that you could film like Mooch, you don't understand because i'm doing this and i'm doing that but I mean, like, I just don't, I, the, the amount of people that are playing fighters and that many, that many, because it's like one thing, if you were like, no, dude, I am diehard injustice or I am diehard Mortal Kombat. But people are like jumping from diehard Mortal Kombat to diehard injustice to diehard Tekken to diehard killer instinct. And I'm like, guys, it's, it's the same shit. Like, I don't under, like, wow. I mean, you might go, well, so's Call of Duty and so's this. I, I, I understand that. I, I do get that. But like, I don't know. It, it's like, you know, you jump at a 45 degree angle, come down with an ankle in someone's foot in face. You know what I'm like? Okay. Well, a lot of I people mean, like the like the challenge and the, and the competitiveness of them. Right. And a lot of it for the different games, even though True. it's the similar mechanics, yeah. the frame timing and like the anim that's, a lot of people yeah, who are hardcore yeah. to that stuff yes. are into the animations and like they can yeah. predict what that's the next true. Right, is I'll give you that kind of thing. No, I'll give, and I'm glad. I'm glad they're doing well. I, I just, I personally, I could not see like, like by the time I get done with everything and you know, podcasting on certain nights, taking care of stuff with family and this and that. Like it's ten o'clock at night. I don't want to sit there and be like, "Hey, Luca, what are you doing?" How do you can? I'm not doing that <laughs> shit. Like I'm not like I, I can't do that tonight. Yeah. I'm fucking tired. I want to have I a like conversation. The, I like how the you fighters know? now though they at least have like they're they're innovating more and more as they come out. I mean, not only the graphics and animations now like so much better than they were in like the 80s and and 90s in particular, where they had like three or four animations and you know like you could see a fireball coming from uh, from a mile away, but right. now like they have the uh, you know, they got the great cinematics and stuff. They have story modes now. So at least feels a little bit more like a set top video game. And there's a little bit more of a payoff when you're done. Whereas like back in the day playing Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter was just like like a little tournament ladder, you know, and it just felt, you know, but back then I think the, the well, it's changed somewhat because back then it was all about popping in quarters and, and, and guys standing up at the arcade box, you know, and just going at it for, for hours on end. Hey, I'm better than you and I can beat you with this character. And now it's, like I said, it's more of a traditional gaming experience with a fighter throw it in. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I typically find fighters boring. Like, I didn't really care for uh, the other Mortal Kombat that much. But um, I am a DC fan girl, so I got Injustice. That's really what it comes down to, Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, oh, really? I, think, I, I will say that, and that's what Luke's saying, and that's kind of what Luca's saying. Like the animations and like the characters that they love, and that's actually Luca. That's totally fine. I had this debate many, many podcasts ago with somebody, and like I, I admire what you said. Like, so you like Injustice, you like the DC characters. That's why you bought this game. I get that. But crap, it was crap. I was going back and forth with crap. Was just talking up Mortal Kombat X. Like he's like, Mooch, you got to get it. It's on sale, twenty bucks. I bought it. I bought the game get it and then two minutes later like what was the game that came out it wasn't injustice another game came out maybe it was injustice uh, came out what was the yeah, game that just came I, out after anyway so injustice like, 2 right? yeah. justice 2 came out and crap's like oh we got to get that we got to get that i'm like i just bought mortal kombat x like two <laughs> weeks ago and now you're telling me to buy the it's the same game with a different skin and he's like yeah but you know 
I feel like Injustice plays better. I get I got it because of the gameplay actually, because um I think DC's okay. Um, oh, so, <laughs> Luca, you know. Um, so you I got a friend. Block, so it's fine. Nah, nah, you ain't blocking me, girl. <laughs> no, and um, so I enjoy the game itself. I think it's really good. I like it better than Mortal Kombat, and I have both. And um, the thing is that even though I'm a Marvel fan, girl, I didn't really enjoy playing the Marvel Infinite, the new one. I heard the Marvel that versus Capcom. Was, uh, like- I heard that game yeah. was kind of garbage in comparison that to the old That was disappointing. So, I go first for the gameplay aspect of it, to be honest. Yeah, oh, really? You're... Uh, well, I mean, I don't Danny know. Bo- Danny Boy's requesting my Hadouken be taped and put on MNC Mornings. <laughs> <laughs> Shut are you good? That's so great. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Here's the thing, right? Like, I stopped liking fighting games on the 360 because the lag and stuff. And the, the input screen. latency on those wireless controllers were, was god awful. Yeah, and people would just like jiggle their cords and leave the game or whatever. So I stopped playing them. I was like, this is bad. I don't, you know, I, I wasn't into it. And then when Killer Instinct came out, it kind of got me back into it. And then I like Mortal Kombat. Actually, Street Fighter V on PS4 wasn't terrible, it just lacked a lot of content. You know, I mean, it was a pretty good game, but I mean, you know, so so I, I like the fact that the fighting games mm-hmm. have kind of come back this generation. I think it's pretty damn cool. You know, more genres. Same thing with like the uh, the platformers. You know, I'm happy that uh, the platformers have come back or whatever. You know, it's I, I think it's a damn good thing. It is. Yeah, good. we got a whole bunch of them nowadays. Super Lucky Tale, 1999, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Right that, now, that, that is a and that's a really good game, despite what uh, some people say. Yeah, or whatever, despite you know what reviewers say, Super Lucky's Tale and uh, Sonic Forces are both. Very solid. Oh, I like game. Sonic Forces a lot. I, yeah, I like Careful, that a lot. guys. Luca's going to go. Watch out. <laughs> you know what? Um, despite that, that's the problem with reviewers, you know? That's why I don't watch reviews. I can't trust some random person I don't know to tell me what I'm right. going to like, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Well, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then the, on, on the other side, the flip side of that, right? Like, if you read the reviews for Sonic Forces, they're, uh, the, people, the negatives on it are such bullshit to begin with. Like, such bullshit problems that people give it games yeah. basically scores that should be reserved for games yeah. that are broken and unplayable. We talked about how yeah. crazy of a ride it's been the past few years as far as like the hardware and stuff like that. But like, let's talk about something else. Like I remember myself go back five, six, seven years ago, like IGN and Game Informer and all these other things. Like I, like I went to them and trusted them for reviews. And I remember yeah. me and my friends always getting together and we're like, they're like, you think we should buy this game? And I was like, well, they get a nine or they get a 9.4. And I was like, we would always go by like, that was such, that was the gospel, right? That was like, that was yeah, it. That's crazy. I, w- now, I went through that as well. I don't even like a new game came out. Like all these new games came out. I didn't check one review. Yeah. I could uh, give two shits. Cause I know we know these people now. We know yeah. these people. And I'm like, they, they, know, they thought we were. They were. Everybody yeah, would do that thing where exactly they sat crap. watching reviews and that sort of thing. I think my thing was when I was watching a lot of reviews and stuff, it was a lot of the stuff back when it was uh, Tech TV. And it was like G4 yeah. with like uh, Adam, with Sessler. Adam and then, yeah. Yeah, Adam Sessler yeah. and those kind of people were the people because they we had like a similar taste in games. Right. And, so and it plus, they would break well. it down really well. It yeah. was different. Exactly. You we're, know what? We're in an age and day, too, guys, where this, there's no excuse now for somebody to make an uneducated purchase of a game because there's so many ways to find game footage, to find a review, to get yeah. social media opinions. Like back in the day when you had cartridges, all you had was EGM or Game Pro, uh, or you waited until a friend bought the game, you tried it at his house and kind of figured out if that was for you or not. You know what I mean? Or you just traded yep. games back and forth. Now we live in an age. If you buy a really bad game now, it's on you, man, because there's just so many ways. I think bottom line, if it's something that you're interested in, like let's take Super Lucky Sales. I like platformers. I always have. I mean, I've grown up on them. I knew just by watching the video, I'm like, as long as this game doesn't have like mediocre controls, it should be good. It should be relatively fun. I like the art style. I like sort of the level design. And sure, you know, I went out and bought the game. It wasn't overly expensive, so I could make the investment. And it was awesome. Yeah, is it a 10? No, it's not a 10. But is it a solid 7 or 8? It all depends on who you are, but I would easily give it at least a 7. I mean, it was solid. It had some flaws, but it makes me very excited to see where, with more development time, maybe a bigger budget, where they could take a sequel for this game. But please, Microsoft, bring back uh, Conquer, because that is your... uh, He's awesome. Yeah, you know, another thing. I hate when I say I like something, or I'm enjoying something, or I'm going to pick something up, and then, like, 
the roaches come out of the woodwork. Like, uh, listen, Luca, I didn't like this. <laughs> About to like it, and if you do like it, you are wrong. You are stupid. You are clearly uneducated, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, okay. Like it's like, <laughs> well, it's all, opinions. It's all <laughs> you know opinion, I mean? it right? Is, it is. Like we all have different opinions. We're all different people. Just because my opinion doesn't automatically match yours doesn't mean that I'm wrong exactly. or you're wrong or anything like yeah. that. You know, we all can like different things. That's completely fine. And it it really bothers me when people make the mistake of bothering me. You know. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, and the funny thing is there's so many things that people get upset about, whether it be sports teams or cars or Marvel versus DC or console. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, like, I know, like, Fox, like, that is a thing, right? If you go on, like, yeah, for no, me, you're right. I'm, I'm 100% impartial, right? Like, I like superheroes. Like, I'm not like, a, I, I used to read, like, Batman and Captain America and Avengers growing up. So it's like, I like both. But it's like, um, if you go on Twitter and you're like, man, Marvel's the best, you're going to get shit. If you go, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. True. DC's the best, you're going to get shit. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, so it's like, there, that, that's the same stuff that happens no matter what. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that stuff is everywhere. I'm not so surprised like, about it at all because you see it with phones. You see it with movies. Um, yes. obviously Marvel People versus like, DC. You got a Windows Xbox phone crap gamer? Yeah. Ew. First of all, Windows sucks, so you don't get an excuse for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Nice. Oh, it. Hey, to be fair, the Windows phones don't suck. What sucked was Microsoft's lack of fucking support for them. <laughs> yeah, I, the, actually, the OS and stuff is really good. I, I really enjoy it. Oh yeah, I, I love the Windows phones, but I oh, just yeah. can't for practicality purposes. I can't use it because it's basically like having a flip phone at this point. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, I would still have a flip phone. If true story, if Alimer hadn't bought me a Windows phone, right? He was like, "Here you go," and I was like, "Hey, cool, thanks." Yeah, oh, it's all his fault. So. Buy you an iPhone next. Yeah, like we'll he'd have to buy goes. me an iPhone. <laughs> he'd have to because there, there's basically no other way that that shit would happen as far as I'm concerned, man. I'm just hey, that, you start, spending you a lot of money on you. What? Once you start oh, using hey. the iPhone. <laughs> he got the phones for free when he was working. He was working there. <laughs> yeah, I used no, to work like, for AT&T. When it, I used when to work for AT&T. To... Oh, okay. No, but yeah. when it comes to all these things, like if you want to know about a movie, don't worry about all the hate that's coming out on Twitter. Just go over there and try it and see it yourself. When it comes to the game, play it, play it yourself and see if you like it. Or talk to your close friends who would know, oh, well, Luca likes this Dark, so Dark Souls style game, so maybe she'll enjoy this game better than I did. So maybe you could recommend it to your friends that way. Um, yeah. But I, I don't like these reviewers. Um, be your own reviewer. I. I say try it yourself, especially if they have trials or demos or anything well, like that, which I miss yeah, those. Yeah. They don't what have that, do that much anymore. Time, what I do a lot of times now for me is I'll look up gameplay video and just yeah, like, watch true. that. That's, that's, that actually, actually is what decides a lot of it for me. Because you can see, uh, you know, kind of, you know, if there's glitches or if there's game-breaking shit yeah. in games, basically, just Especially if you it. have favorite streamers and you enjoy yeah. how they how they interact yeah. with you and all that they, you watch them playing it and they're having fun with it and you're like well maybe i'll do i'll play this game and have just as much fun with my friends or whatever the case may be exactly. so yeah just try it yourself don't worry about like if somebody's hating and shitting all over the game before it's even out people i hate that yeah. um yeah. like as soon as like somebody gets it early like they're already shitting all over it or whatever yeah I, yeah bothers but, me. like that's what happened with quantum break Remember, like Quantum Break got out there, and then everybody was like, "You could beat it in two hours." Seven twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seven twenty B. I, I hated like, that, that, but I enjoyed amazing. the game. I enjoyed the show. Yeah. I, I liked it a lot. I didn't care what other people said. I did said. too. Hell, Hellhammer hated that game, though. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I hated yeah. it like a style. few years ago. I um I went to see a movie. I can't remember what movie it was exactly, right? But everyone was just like, "Oh, this movie's terrible." So I didn't see it. A year later, I saw it for like three bucks, right? I loved it, and I was so disappointed in myself for listening to other people's opinions instead of going to see it for myself and ever since then i've been like yep nope i i don't listen to reviews i don't pay attention to it i'll ask my yeah. friends about it but mostly i just check out gameplay or i'll just look and see if it's a movie i'll like or a game i'll like like that king arthur movie destroyed i love it i saw that i went to go see it twice i enjoyed it more than guardians of the galaxy 2 Fight me, Fox, and I have no play, so. <laughs> okay. Hey, you you liked um, Justice League as well, even though like a lot of people say oh. to avoid that, right? Yeah, it was. Like you borrow, drop a hundred dollar code in the chat, people. Like you borrow. Oh, oh Mikey nice. Barra. Hey, welcome, welcome to to the show, Mike. Wow. Thanks, thank very, you very much. Very dang. That is that is, that awesome. is big Thanksgiving time right there, indeed. Has just come early for one fast person. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much, Mike. As Mooch is sitting there trying to. I, I tried. Him. By the time I even opened up the Xbox <laughs> app, I'm just too slow these days, Mike. Hey, I knew I knew Mooch was trying to get that in. I'm actually got, got too quiet. What I'm he doing? Got I got quiet because I'm actually DMing Mike, saying, "Mike, can I just have one personally?" Is what I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag mooching. Uh, no, uh, just kidding. Hey, Mike, if you awesome. got one of those Xbox books kicking around, those extra ones, I would love to have one of those. Oh, I got the Scorpio. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Thanksgiving, guys, not Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Man, but we should all be thankful for something anyway, right? So, hey, I'm but. thankful that the Xbox One X just came out, period, because it's been a joy to play on ever since oh, I bought yeah. it. This, is the, yeah. this has been the best console I've ever purchased. Uh, I've never touched it. I haven't touched any other console. I've been gaming more this month than I have in probably years. Uh, you know, it's 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 been absolute just most it like it reinvigorated gaming I, for I'd me. I'd be gaming crazy if it wasn't for my crazy work hours for this month, but yeah, I it, still it, it, game it, as much as I can. I mean, the fact, yes, it makes Xbox One X games look great. That was kind of a given. But you see what it's doing to the old games. I mean, I played Judgment last night, Gears Judgment, and boy, I could see the Christmas just pop on that screen. And then you have Colt who put up a picture, a side-by-side -side comparison. Some of you saw it, a yeah, Fallout it 3, and it was like, wow, it was night and day. It was like, dang. Yeah, you know I'm actually saying? I'm actually going to do something similar. I'm going to record something like the Halo 3 off the 360 and then off oh, the man, X. That game looks X. amazing now on the X. Yeah. Yeah, so just because it, yeah, that's it looks the like the best place to play Halo Three now. It is. It's just like it's so it's so fun. Like, and, and I like the fact that they're going back and going, hey, and even though people, the haters, will go, yeah, it's old games or whatever. But you know what? Not everybody. If you look at Halo Three, is ten years old. Not everybody that has an Xbox One X right now was mm -hmm. around or old enough to play that game back then. Myself personally, they might have skipped I'm, over. What if they was on waiting, PlayStation at that point? Waiting and anticipating for the Master Chief Collection to get its its up res, right? Yeah, that's three, 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 gonna, Yeah, I'm yeah. waiting for that because, to be honest with you, I love having that all in one, right? You just open that game up. That I, I'll be honest with you. You could say whatever you want, okay? The issues when it first came out. I, I, I still love, 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 love owning the Halo Master Chief Collection. Oh, I think yeah. it is yeah, the like best thing I've purchased in this generation. I love it. I played all four games through on hardcore. I, I'd like, oh, excuse me, on, what was it? Yeah, it's hard. I want to play it on the insane level. I want to play it on the hardcore edition with like, with, the thing is, Oh, Halo legendary? 1, legendary. I want to play that on one and two so bad. So bad. Uh, but I, someone's got to be patient with me because I definitely got through hardcore with no problem, but legendary is all. I can't legendary. even imagine... I can't even imagine how Halo 2 is going to look because that game is already amazing looking as it is. So it might make your eyes water and shit. Love that game. Next. Honestly, the work that 343 and, and the other companies that helped them with that. I mean, I know they went through their trials and tribulations with it, but shit, yeah. if you don't own that game, my God, you should own yeah. it. Well, I mean, you know what? Here's the thing. People were complaining like the online or whatever, and I get that because the online was um, kind of yeah. messy. Oh, because I mean, it, it, it was FUBAR when it released. I mean, it was because be because basically like they the way that they had it set up was bad. Uh, you know, you couldn't like search for a specific thing like how they really were. You know what I mean? It was like right. they had this stuff all kind of jumbled together, and it took a long time to find matches and things like that. That sucked. But the problem, the thing with Halo is it's always been a, a game that had great campaigns too. Right. So like yeah. that was always good. And then they did give you um, ODST for free, you know, and like I haven't really been back to the multiplayer to see if it's fixed, but hopefully apparently they're going to reinvigorate well, it. That was the it second out. time Microsoft gave me ODST for free because the first time they get, they sent me a physical copy of the 360. Yeah. When it released. So, so true story. Hellhammer was the worst Halo player of all time. He gets a free uh, ODST copy and hops on the Halo 3 multiplayer for like day straight. He's like playing this game for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Just, and he never gets great, right? But he gets good enough to where he can, you know, go 12 and 15 instead of like 0 oh and 30. Oh, no, I was going like 12 <laughs> and like 5, 12 and 6. No, he was now. Hellhammer couldn't go 12 and 5 or 12 and 6 on a Halo game if his life depended on it. I guarantee yeah, you. Yeah. Never, never Halo. happened. Hell, Hellhammer is worse at Halo, one of the worst Halo players in the world. Uh, I'm awesome at Halo. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, you're who, who are you guys going to believe? Me or Hellhammer, right? Like, just, it's, it's me, right? It's, it's me. <laughs> Trust me, he's bad. I'm not saying I'm good. I'm bad, too. I'm terrible at Halo. I love it, but I suck. I am like, I'm oh, horrible. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, now I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am horrible, right? I am atrocious at Halo. Uh, the only games multiplayer that I'm decent at is Gears and Call of Duty. That's it. You know, I mean, your uh, old Call of Duty 4.65 KDR 
Vegas to differ on that one. I never had a point six five. It was a yeah, one. Yeah, you did. It was, it was point, point six five for the longest time. No, it wasn't. Time. It was a one. It was a one. It was for a long time, and then I worked it up and got it to a one point <laughs> ten. And your negative a hundred percent accuracy or whatever the hell it was. That was a glitch. Uh -huh. That was a glitch. It's because all you did was throw. It's because all you did was throw three grenades right when you spawn and then die and drop another grenade. You can't grenade. have negative accuracy, jackass. You uh -huh. can't do it. It's impossible. You, uh -huh. you have to, like, you can't do it. It was a glitch. I want to see a 1v1 like, of Crappy versus Hellhammer. Oh, I, 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 I 1v1'd him all the time. He won't Mixer, even play me on I want to see it. He won't even play me on Killer Instinct because he knows I'll whoop his ass. No, I don't want to oh, bash shit. you. Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. He knows I'd be all over him because I, I, uh, he knows that I can hit those uh, ultra combos and shit, and he's not looking forward to that. So, uh, I'm, you, I've never seen you even hit an ultra combo before. Dude, I have them in my videos all the time, the ones that I hit the ultra combo. Ultra combo. Exactly. It's yeah, he gets, he gets this very <laughs> easy bot. Got it. No, man, no very easy bot. What the hell are you talking about? I'm the crap gamer, motherfucker. I'm, I'm amazing. I'm the best gamer there is, the best podcaster, fucking best YouTuber. Fuck all you all. I'm the best. Ooh, oh, my shit. It's an alpha yeah, male yeah, top right now. I, I yeah. saw you fight exactly. some character the other day. You threw about as much punches as a guy with no arms, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 and I'm about to get hit with Mooch's gift, so before that... <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some outros. Mooch, what's going on, man? Hey, buddy, what's going on? Great. This is a great show, man. Really enjoyed being on tonight. This was fun. Good to have Luca and Foxy join us. Um, yeah, I don't. You know, a lot of people are asking me crap, and I'm 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 on the fence right now. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let the trip to fame hit me tomorrow with my turkey and and soak it all in. I'm wondering if we should do a crossfire on you know with the holiday weekend. So I, I'm debatable on it. Uh, I'll be texting people and tweeting people all tomorrow. We'll we'll decide. I'll I'll talk Which to Prax like, how he's doing. Any, I, I couldn't get anybody in there on the <laughs> well, show. Well, everyone's gonna be like crazy busy. I mean, I don't know. For some reason, let's be I'm honest. Mad, Thanksgiving no <laughs> Thanksgiving's on <laughs> Thursday, but it really does bleed into the Friday. So we'll see. Yeah, uh, yeah so and the sales doing. and whatnot as well. Exactly. Black yeah. Friday, everybody's out shopping or I'm gonna be exhausted. doing my shopping online, man. Like 4K Blu-ray. Some people first do world crappy. problems. Crap's yeah. got them. Uh listen, no, I don't know. But uh, regardless, MNC mornings will happen Sunday morning on my channel. Uh yeah. and just stay tuned to my Twitter for uh finding out what's going on with Crossfire. We'll we'll see. We'll see how uh how interesting Thanksgiving is. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. Uh, Hellhammer, what do you got going on? Nothing. Yeah, pretty much. I'll be back on here next week. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitter at XXHellhammer or on Xbox Live, XX Space Hellhammer. I'm yeah. almost always on because <laughs> I never turn my Xbox off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, D-Batch says that code was missing five digits, by it the was. way. It was. <laughs> Who the hell could have got that? Holy shit. <laughs> five digits was it all the same digit like geez yeah usually yeah. is when they do that yeah wow yeah. interesting it's <laughs> <That's> awesome <laughs> he trolled you on thanksgiving that's terrible man <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will figure didn't it out, even realize it. maybe he just put it in and cut off or something i don't know maybe i don't know <laughs> it was really him though yeah, i <laughs> know really i don't know yeah i don't know yeah, it was him uh noof what do you got going on bro Hey, man. Well, besides finding me right here with these awesome people on Xbox Nation, you guys can find me Monday evenings at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Attack the Glitcher on the X Power podcast. Uh, always a good time over there. You never know. Maybe uh, Mooch will have me back on Crossfire anytime. I'm always uh, yeah, yeah. sitting around waiting for the invites when Mooch. Uh, gets uh, you know a few uh, open spaces. I know there's always a different cast of characters in it. Yeah, turns, it turns the rotation, but Noof, you are very, you are the no chills master. So it is, <laughs> it is due time. It is due time. <laughs> no, that's true, man. But whenever, whenever, I'm just saying. Um, but outside of that, man, you guys know where to find me on Xbox Live at Noof Nukem at PlayStation Network at Noof underscore Nukem. Let's play some games. Let's do it. <laughs> it's Noof Nukem. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we've got uh, Luca. What do you got going on? Hey, just want to say thank you so much for having me. It was a fun show, and uh, you guys can catch me at the Ashton Luca on Twitter and Xbox Live, and you can catch me on Speak Podcast on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and hopefully we have uh, RDX Podcast next week. That's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Tuesday on uh, Dealer Gaming's channel. All right, and Foxy, what do you got going on? 
uh, check out my Twitter. I'm going to be sharing all the Foxy deals on there, uh, like tonight and tomorrow and every time I see anything new. And also, if you guys have anything, you can send it my way. I'll share it with everyone as well. It was nice doing the podcast with you guys. I miss being on Xbox Nation, the yeah. best nation. Um, oh, yeah. And it's also <laughs> nice being here with Luca, even though she was, uh, you know, hanging out with chicken wings more than us. Were they good? Were they good, Luca? Oh, they were lit. They were really oh, good. Oh, nice. See, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Um, One time but is yeah. Good. Go ahead, Fox. <laughs> no, I'll say besides that, I'm doing Gaming Den this Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern with She Wolf. And then I'll be on Console Corner next week uh, on Gamers Knows Best channel at 7 uh, with the gang. So check us out there. Awesome. Uh, I was going to say one time we uh, our, our Star Wars Battlefront 2 clan back on the PS2, uh, we lost a clan match because the dude was eating ham. With, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Oh, wow. He had greasy uh, fingers, and he was our sniper. Oh yeah, no! Uh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. So, anyway, hopefully you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks to all the panel here. And sorry, she would couldn't make it. She was cooking. She's got like family stuff and all that kind of stuff. So I can't really blame her. But uh, I appreciate everybody. Thank you guys. Have a great day with your family and friends, and we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you.